good morning. Happy Saturday. Good morning, good morning. How is everybody? Uh, just checking out the chat here. We'll give everybody a minute or two to jump in. Hello, hello. Ms. L, good morning. Debbie, Deborah Creator, good morning, good morning. Deborah, I think we have your order situated. Uh, just me going in too many different directions, so sorry about that. Hi, 111 Renee's, enjoying a lovely spring day in Nashville. Um, Deborah, when I read your comment before I jumped on, uh, that I, I had the biggest like grin on my face. Uh, Deborah, whose beach gal said, oh man, good morning. Joshua has been asking for this since 7.30 this morning. So um, that just makes me very happy. So hi, Joshua. Uh, and hello, Deborah. Uh, hi, Laura and Sarah said, good morning. Gray in LA, but at least it's no rain. Oh, I just remembered I forgot to clean my glasses. Uh, good morning, Terry. And Karen. Karen, snow, are you kidding me? Holy cow, that's interesting. Because usually, Karen's in Colorado. I'm in Utah. Usually... Uh, snow, even like rain would hit us before you guys, nothing, nothing. So um, I know it's that time of year in like where we are in the US, Colorado, uh, Utah, Mother Nature likes to play tricks. Um, kind of the hard and fast rule here in Northern Utah is that do not under any circumstances plant any kind of flowers, even if they are, um, you know, just like on your porch or something uh, until Mother's Day, because there's always one last frost that's a gotcha. So that's how you know when people are new moving in, they've got their little peonies or, you know, whatever they have out and uh, on their porch or what have you. And you're like, oh no, that's not a good idea. Um, hi, Cindy, good morning. And Laura, hi, Lorelai. Nice to see you. Laura's on our design team, my design team, the design team, what have you. So fun to see you. Um, she's in Alberta. Uh, Christy from Oregon, Tracy from Iowa. Wanda, good morning, good morning. Hello, Nikki. Uh, Nick's in the other room. <laughs> Uh, Vintage Scrap Christine says Sacramento. She's very excited to see what uh, I have in store for us today. Me too. Sometimes it goes a totally different direction, so you never know, right? Hi, Joanne. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, look it. Um, DG76. Hello from Washington. Your first live. I love that. And I'm glad that you popped in and said hello to tell us that. Uh, Christy, good morning. Tracy. Um, da -da -da. Fiona, good morning, Fiona, even though it's uh, probably late afternoon for you, right? Netherlands. And Martine, look at you guys are like right next to each other, almost in the chat. Martine is also from the Netherlands. Martine, how was your trip to New York? How was it? I want to hear all about it. So you have to shoot me an email and let me know. Uh, Joanne also had snow. Hello, Rebecca from cool and sunny and pollen filled Missouri. Oh, goodness. Terry said yes, affirming what Karen said. Big fluffy flakes in Denver. Uh, Patricia, good morning. Good afternoon from Maine. Hi, Carla and Justine. Debbie from Idaho. Hello, hello. Um, oh, uh, Christine said she got her 49 in market craft garden order. It's even more beautiful in person. Uh, I, um, we won't, I don't think. I have it, I have it next to me. I'm not sure if we'll play with it today, but if we don't play with it today, for sure next week. Uh, and that would be the 49 market crafty garden because it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, Karen says, snow here on May 29th before and early of September. Yeah, we, um, I think we actually had, I'm going to say, oh, I don't know. It's just, you know, weird, weird weather. It just happens. Hi, Marilee. Nice to see you. Our, our saps. Good morning. Good morning. Elise. Hi, Elise. Nice to see you. Scrapbook sister, Deborah Peterson from, um, from Minnesota. I think I almost got everybody. So if I didn't get you, just hello and welcome. Hi, Sh Shanna. Shanna? 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 Shanna. Shanna said, I just got my order yesterday. You guys are fast. Uh, Denise and Lily, yes, they are. Um, they're just honing in. They've been uh, doing it now um, really since February. So um, they are really just, I tell you, they are, they're like, we keep, think, we keep thinking things are going to slow down and they're not. I'm like, mm, yeah. Uh, so, but they love it. They, they are super busy, which is awesome. Uh, and they love doing what they do for you guys. So it's awesome. Um, 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 Shanners, hello. And Kathy. All right, friends. Um, so, oh my goodness, it's warm. Hang on. I have to uh, get the fan going because it's warm. Middle-aged, um, middle-aged lovelies, right? Okay, there we go. Fan is going. I also have like a running skirt on with this. Um, that, so anyhow, you just got to deal with the, uh, got to deal with, um, the heat. Well, you know, own personal summer any way we can, right? So everyone, welcome. Uh, welcome, welcome. Lovely having you here. Uh, my name is Lael Konkar, and I have a business called Lael by Mail. On Saturdays when I'm not traveling, we're here on my YouTube channel, and we're doing what I like to call creative listing. So a couple days beforehand, I publish three, at least, 
uh, listing topics on the blog, and that's what I do when we're here. Now, you guys sometimes are doing all different kinds of things, but I'm here listing, and when I say listing, I am taking whatever those listing topics are, and I am making lists, but I'm making creative lists. So um, I'm adding stamps and stickers and die cuts and washi and, you know, all, all different kinds of things. We have a lot of fun. Um, there's lots of laughing, uh, there's lots of chatting, there's lots of squirreling, which is what I do when I totally get off track and off tangent, and that happens often. Um, hence the kind of references to squirrels and squirrel squad and things like that. Um, but we have a lot of fun. Uh, we learn, um, and when I say we, I mean I learn as well, right? I've been crafting for, um, I'm gonna say 20, 27, probably 27 years, scrapbooking for 27 years, memory keeping, um, and then crafting, you know, forever. And uh, I'm still learning, right? And I think that's just a process that we kind of all evolve and learn and try new things. And when we try new things, we learn. And sometimes we make mistakes, but we chat about uh, how we can fix them uh, and not get derailed. So anyhow, we have a lot of fun. Um, most, if not all, the products that I use, you will find on my website at laylebymail.com. So there are loads of links in the description box, um, but there's one that is, takes you to the projects I am using today for this video. So um, every time I do a new video, the products that I'm using, that, um, you know, always changes. So, um, but you can pretty much find anything. If there's anything you can't find, shoot me an email, um, laylebymail.com. Well, easiest way is to go to the website, lillbymail.com, and click contact us, and that makes it easy. Um, all right, so let's talk about a um, couple things that happened this past week, or really maybe the last two weeks. Uh, number one, the metal dies for the typewriter came back in stock, um, and I actually need this to come out because I am going to, we're going to use it today, okay? So metal die, the typewriter metal die we'll be using today. Uh, but those came back in stock. Those um, they just uh, within the last month started doing metal dies that coordinate with some of my stamp sets. And um, those metal dies sold out. Uh, this one, that typewriter, sold out literally within the first day. So um, the factory that I work with, I should say we uh, work with because it's Amy that does all of that for me. Um, is awesome. She um, worked with them literally as soon as we knew that they were uh, sold out. Uh, on getting those remanufactured and sent. And so it took about three weeks, which is amazing. I will tell you, that is amazing. So those are back in stock if you've been waiting for those. Um, and if you're like, I don't know what she's talking about, we'll just stay tuned because I'll be using that today. Another new thing that came in this week, uh, and I, um, I showed these on What's New Wednesday this past week. And that is a little video that's here on YouTube. Um, but um, I referenced, kind of have hinted over the last couple of weeks, that I was going to start doing die cuts. So that's the first, well, actually, this is actually the second set of die cuts. Um, the first one uh, were custom die cuts that I worked with on my friend, um, Ashley Horton of the Cut Shop for the 2024 year in review. So you, um, if you have that project kit, then you saw some die cuts there, but die cuts. So for those of you that don't like to stamp or don't want to stamp or don't mind stamping, but don't want a fussy cut, you don't want to do dies, those are stamped and die cut already for you, right? Look at that. Um, and those are the clips. So that's what uh, you see, different size, different shape clips, and 54, there's 54 die cuts in there. So you can leave them as is, they're black and white, right? You can leave them as is, or you could um, color them in with pencil, pen <laughs> color them in with pencil, color them in with a colored pencil. How about that? Uh, you can um, watercolor them, you can use your fancy markers, uh, you could ink them, whatever you wanted to do, but um, just really fun. So those um, just came in this week as well. And then four, count them, I guess that would be eight, four, four brand new project kits in the last two weeks. Um, one of them, well actually they all now have flip through videos here on my YouTube channel. There were two Traveler's Notebook versions, two Traveler's Notebook project kits, and then two uh, mini book project kits. And uh, two of those are travel, one Traveler's Notebook, one mini book. Uh, and the mini book I just finished yesterday. Um, it, it turned out so fun, I have to say, if I do say so myself. Um, instructions, I wrote the instructions yesterday and I have somebody that formats those for me. So uh, just waiting to get those back, but those should start shipping on Monday. So lots of, lots of stuff going on. Last thing I want to mention before we kind of um, flip the cameras and start playing, uh, International Scrapbook Day. That is a holiday in our world, uh, and that is always the first Saturday in May. Always, always, always the first Saturday in May. So I believe this year that is May 4th, 
one, two, three, four, May 4th, okay? May 4th, that's, <laughs> may the 4th be with you. May 4th, uh, International Scrapbook Day. So we will be here on Saturday on my YouTube channel all day. We'll do an all day listing. There will be two different, um, there'll be a morning session and an afternoon session. Uh, so I can take a one hour break in between. Um, but if you've joined me for any of my all dayers, uh, we have lots of fun, lots of live prizes and things like that. So um, mark your calendar for that. Do a little save the date. Um, and I think that is, I think that's about it. Uh, oh no, one more thing. Uh, those four new project kits uh, on the website, it tells you when those classes are scheduled. But um, next week, I will get the emails out for those. So you know, you've got the link and you know all the details for when those classes are to take place. Okay, okay. Let me check the chat very quickly because I don't want to I want to make sure I didn't miss anything before we turn off, turn on the lights, rotate and all that. Okay, all that goodness. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, mm, 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 mm. Hi, Anne. Anne from Michigan. She said she might have finally made a live. Welcome, Anne. Um, Crafty, good morning from Florida. Um... Oh, I love it, Christine. Thank you. And and I always share your feedback with them. So Christine said, I second that comment. The ladies are fast on the shipping. Yeah, they really, really, really. Well, they're like all of us, right? We order and then we want it. Like we're, we're used to, let's just, we got to be honest. We're used to the Amazon, right? We're used to Amazon where they can turn around sometime in two hours. And we're not quite that, <laughs> but um, they do a really good job. They do a really good job. It's usually two to three days. And sometimes it's not even two to three days. Sometimes it's literally the next day they're getting your order out. Uh, my team, Les, uh, Leslie, I think I just saw some, anyhow, uh, Lily and Denise. Yes, so they're awesome. Um, Deborah said, hello, Kathy leaves her an Alaskan cruise tomorrow. Using your traveler's notebook, travel journey, journal the egos for Ireland. Kathy, I love that. That makes me so happy for you. I mean, first of all, because you're going on an Alaskan cruise, because I think that's amazing on my bucket list. But then I'm excited for you to kind of document your trip. I love that. I love it, love it, love it. Um, Cherie, hi friends, listen a little bit. She's driving, hopefully not the driver, hopefully the passenger, right? Although, well, yeah, she does need to be the passenger because she's typing. So hopefully you're the passenger and safe travels. Good morning, Pam. Uh, Cherie, um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, was camping recently. Laura said yay for the typewriter dies, yes. Um, oh, Wanda, I like that. It sounds like Wanda that you and your husband and Nick would really get along, my husband. Wanda said, Lael, I asked my husband and if he knew why we're called the Squirrel Squad. He said, yeah, you're all nuts. Yeah, I'm sure Nick would totally agree with that. At least for me, right? At least for me. Um, yeah, that is a hoot. That is a hoot. Hi, Ann. Nice to see you, Ms. L. I think we've already seen Ms. L. Yes, Colleen. Um, may the 4th be with you. Yeah, Star Wars Day, right? Right, right, right. Um, oh, it's famous in geocaching, too. Let's, it's just a fancy day all around. Um... Oh, goodness, Deborah's having surgery on her hand May 1st. Um, but watching will be okay. I hope that goes well, Deborah. That's, um, surgery is always scary. Always scary, right? Um, Christine, should she order the well-read bundle on 417 and it just arrived? Love it, love it, love it. Because today's 420. That's awesome. That is awesome. Um, good morning uh, from Kettering, Ohio. Dean at 3090. Um, okay, guys. Um, Kathy received an amazing order, loves the new stamps, I love it. Um, Gerda, good morning, good morning. And hi mom, hello. Um, but Karen said something really important. Well, okay, my mother is Karen Warren, but a different Karen said something really important, and that's Karen Haynes. Karen said, hit the like button also, please. Thumbs up, if you are still here and watching, I assume you like it, uh, thumbs up. That is the easiest, most quickest, um, most least expensive, because it costs you nothing but five seconds. Um, way that you can support a content creator that you are watching or interacting with and any social media platform. Thumbs up is awesome. So yes, please, thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, all right, friends, we are going to, I'm going to, and hi, Lisa, I'm gonna turn off the overhead lights. We're going to turn on the studio lights, do all the full thing, and, and then we'll be ready to play, okay? The, uh, I have the, the door is open in here as of now because, um, ooh, sorry, um, it is open as of now because we'll see if Reggie Sir Reginald the third or whatever Sam calls him. Um, it, we'll see if Reggie the cat uh, will come in and get in his box. Um, I, I posted it on Instagram um, in a story. I can't remember. I think I posted it in the Facebook group too. So if you're on Facebook and you're not in the Lail by Mail Facebook group, you should be. So take care of that right away. Uh, but I think I posted a photo the other day of um, how well, ooh, that's an odd view, 
um, of how well, sorry, we're a little crooked and you're catching uh, off the table view there. I will plug in. Oh, thank you, Colleen. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why are we so like out of whack there? Okay, hang tight. Let's just get that fixed. There we go. I think we're better now. Okay, anyhow, I posted a, a really funny video. Well, not a funny video, but a video of um, Reggie, our cat now, Sam's cat, our cat, the family cat. Um, I just messed that up again. Okay, we'll get that straight, friends. We'll get it straight. Um, anyhow, he likes to, when I'm working in here, which is a lot, he likes to be in here, and uh, he's a little, a little plastic bin that's like this big by this big that he lays in and sleeps in. Um, I know, Terry, I forgot the man again. <laughs> um, anyhow, so I have kind of trained him where if I say, Reggie, get in your bucket, as much as you can train a cat, right? Which is really pretty much not at all. Um, but when I say get in your bucket, 72% of the time he will actually get in it and then sleep. So it's kind of fun. Kind of fun. All right, friends. So um, let's talk about what we did when we were together last. And that was last week. Okay. We were last together on the 13th. We're in a streak right now. We are probably in like a six week streak where we are listing one Saturday after another after another. So right now the plan, I don't know, we might, we might break that up in May. Nick and I might jump in Harvey or RV for a quick little getaway. But as of now, we are listing together up until the um, Memorial Day weekend, which in the U.S. is the 23rd, 24th, I think. It's the last weekend in, in May, but anyhow, we won't be listing that way, that weekend because we'll be out of town for sure. Okay, so last week we did four lists. When we were together last week, we did four lists. And as we take a look, um, this was... Our first list, our first list we did was about last month. And that is a list that I do um, like clockwork. Pretty much set your clock to it. The first Saturday that we are together every new month, we do a list called about last month. Um, I've been doing this list for the last four years every month. So I have 48 of these. I can go back to, okay, I was gonna say I can go back to March of 2020, four years ago, but um, yeah. Probably none of us want to go back to March of 2020 because that was kind of a crazy time. Anyhow, I can go back to any given month over the last four years and pull up my list like this and tell you exactly what was happening in my world that month. So this list is, is a time capsule. Uh, I always combine photos. Each new year, I have a new stamp set that I use. Um, and like I said, every new month I sit down and I just do a run on list. These are just kind of the things that happened in my world or Nick's world or, you know, family world or what have you for that entire month. So that was the first list that we did. And that was using the simple vintage spring garden collection, which reminds me, we need to talk about the winners from last week. So when we are together, I always do giveaways. Um, when we do all day sessions, there's a combination of live giveaways and after party giveaways, after party giveaways are the giveaways that I call these after party, basically that anyone can participate in, right? So, um, the way you participate in the giveaways is you leave a comment on the video once it's over. So not in the chat live, but you leave a comment on the video once it's over and you have a whole week to do that or more because it's until we're together again. Um, you leave a comment and then the next time we're together, which in this case would have been this morning, I sit down and I just pick random lucky winners. I scroll wherever my finger stops, that's who wins. So we had two winners from last week. Uh, the first winner was Carrie Mc... Oh, I, I think Carrie McPherson 1909. Uh, and Carrie wins all of my extras from Spring Garden. So I think I used that on maybe one list. Well, on one list for sure. I don't. I think I only used it on one list. So basically, all of my product in my stash, um, Spring Garden, I'm passing along now to, now it's Carrie. So um, Carrie, congratulations. And while we're talking giveaways, we might as well tell the other one too. The other one we used uh, on a, another list. So this list, um, I'll, let me talk about that in a minute. I'm going to go chronologically here. That'll be just a little bit easier. Hello, Jackie popping in. Um, have a good weekend. And good morning, Louisa. Okay, um, Memorial Day, the 27th. So that weekend. So that weekend. So the 25th, I guess. We will not be listing together um, of May. 
because I'll be out of town. Um, this was our second list, and this was a list, of, and I tell you, this was not, this was in no way planned, um, the, the way this turned out. It was very interesting. Um, this was a list uh, about things I wish I still had. This is a list that um, one of you uh, that watches, uh, Melissa Livingston. Um, Melissa, I was teaching at an event last November, um, the, the Christmas bash that, um, dear, not dear Lizzie, um, the Christmas bash that Lizzie and I do, Lizzie Lou and I do uh, together every year. Um, I was talking with Melissa at that event at, at lunch and she was telling me about her 16 year old daughter and her daughter sometimes does what we do, but her daughter sometimes is just kind of doing whatever around the house and she hears, you know, bits and pieces of what we're doing or talking about. Well, her daughter um, had given Melissa a list of suggestions, um, a list of list topics. And so we were kind of talking about those and, and I just, I love that. I love it when you guys live, give list suggestions. So this was a topic that was suggested by Melissa's 16 year old daughter, which I love, love, love so much. So things I wish I still had. Uh, and as what happens when we're listing, I'm talking about my things that I'm listing about, but I like to hear from you guys. So a lot of times in the chat, you're telling me, in this case, things that you wish you still had. And all over the board, right? Runs the gamut. Maybe things from your childhood, maybe people in your life that are no longer part of your life. Um, a couple people reference their figure, <laughs> right? Maybe their figure from 20 or 30 years ago, or I don't know, last year. Um, but we had a lot of fun with this one. With this one, I used the 49 and Market Kaleidoscope Collection. And oh my goodness, uh, this um, this collection, between the pink and the blue, it just like literally, I say the colors pop off the page. It's beautiful. So um, I think there were one or two more things I added after we were together. I think maybe just that little guy. I felt like there was still a little hole there. So I just add, added that little guy. Oh, that's not true. Um, I added that little guy and then also used a colored pencil. Oh, huh, I just realized I did not color in that little um, bottom of that box there. I just used a little colored pencil to color in between those, um, between that stamp. That is a stamp that's the in the box stamp set, just to add a little bit more color. So it's super subtle, super subtle, but you can see um, just a little bit of pink added to those boxes. So that was our second list that we did. Okay, now I'm being fickle. It's too cold now with the fan. That was our second list. Um, now, when I said that I did not, that this, I could not have planned this if I tried. It, it honestly was all random and it just happened. Um, this list right here, I'll skip this one for a second. This list um, actually came from, the suggestion came from my friend, Allison Kimball. And it was things I'm going to do for me this week. And for the me, I used the This Is Me stamp set. Our second winner from last week was Melissa Livingston 9922. I swear, I promise you, it was random. Um, but uh, Melissa is the winner of that This Is Me stamp set. So the way that you um, claim your prizes, uh, I respond to your comment and that should trigger an email to you. And then I just tell you how to, you know, get in touch with me to claim your prize. So um, Ada, this is, um, this is a standard wide traveler's notebook. So it is five inches by eight and a quarter. Okay, and you'll see those. Um, you'll see those on my website, littlebymail.com. Five by eight and a quarter. All right, so that list we had a lot of fun with. Uh, that used, but actually both of these lists used the Fresh Air Collection from Simple Stories that you'll um, see on the website. Uh, we used one of the new clip stamps and then also the metal die. So we ran, we stamped that and then ran it through a die cutting machine. Um, that was, made it super easy, all right? Um, this, if you were with me, I decided this was there. I decided I didn't like it there. So I actually ended up re-stamping that. If you look under there, there's actually two. Uh, I ended up re-stamping that um, and then putting that because it kind of ripped it underneath. But sometimes, right, sometimes you let things sit and you're like, mm, I didn't quite like where I put that. So it's okay to move things if you want. Um, our last list, the fourth, fourth list uh, this is another, what I like to call a time capsule list. This list is called What a Day. This is a list that we do on a monthly basis where you just pick a day in that month, and for me it was April 11th, and then I just keep track of 
the things that I did that day, and then I'm just listing the things that I did on that particular day. Very much a time capsule list. I can, 20 years from now, look back on this list and go, oh my goodness, how interesting my life was back then. Um, or look at what I was doing. Or um, I might be like taught at a virtual retreat. What the heck? Um, I would love it if I had a list like this that my mother had done in the 70s. Or think about it, like my grandmother had done in 1952. How awesome would that be to go back and see what maybe a typical day was like back then? So that's the idea behind uh, the What A Day, and that uses um, my What A Day stamp set. Okay, friends, so um, we're ready to roll, all right? We are ready to start with our first list of the day. And our first list for today, um, I thought might be kind of fun to um, take a little twist on one of the lists that we did last week. Um, the list is this one. So last week we did things I'm going to do for me this week. And we talked in that list about how important it is that we do things for us sometimes, right? We can't like, it, it, I said, it's kind of like when you're on the airplane and they tell you to put on your oxygen mask first before you help someone else. The reason they tell you that is if you help everyone else and um, you haven't put on your oxygen mask or you haven't done things for you, well, guess what happens? It's not, it's not a good situation, right? So same thing. We have to always make sure that we're doing things for ourselves to focus on ourselves, And it can be super simple things like, Oh, oh, things like stop working at 5 p.m. I will tell you last week, I did not do well. Um, there was not one day that I stopped working at 5 p.m. Uh, it was a big week. Um, walk outside at least three days. Well, I did two of the three. Sit in the sun and read a book. I did bup kiss, zero. Uh, hair and nail appointments, I did both of those. So I need to work a little bit more on this, but good start, right? So this week, things that we're gonna focus on doing for someone else. And it doesn't have to be one person. It could be one person, it could be a people in your life, it could be strangers, it could be kind of whatever you want it to be. But I thought it might be kind of fun to do kind of opposite of the list that we did last week. So that is our first list. For our first list, I am going to use um, the collection that you kind of see here. <coughs> Excuse me. We are still, I don't know why, like we're still, everything is, I gotta move all this stuff. I feel like I'm like, all this extra room down here. All right, it's just bugging me. A little scatter is out of sorts. Um, so the product that I have here kind of laid out on my work surface is the Simple Stories Simple Vintage Essentials Color Palette. That is a mouthful. Um, it is a beautiful collection. So many bright, bright, bright colors. That's what I love about this collection so much. Um, this is the collection that um, is used in my Live Life and Color mini book project kit that is out right now. So uh, this is going to be a two page list. Even though, even though my list is only going to be on one page, it's still going to be a two page list and we'll kind of see because this will be more a little bit of a decorative side. Um, there is one thing that reminded me and I didn't write down who said this. Someone last week in the, in the chat and I, I wrote it down because I thought it was such a great way to, to, to kind of reference it. You need to practice responsible selfishness. Practice responsible selfishness. I thought that was just a really good way to put it. So it's okay. You have permission to do that. You gotta take care of yourself. Because um, if, if you don't, well, we know what happens. You, um, there's no oxygen left on the plane and you put on your mask last, right? Shannon, good morning, Shannon. Uh, and Terry said, self-care is not selfish, it is sacred. Say it with me, ladies, take care of you, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Shannon um, is packing up all of her traveler's notebook stuff, including my books. You're cropping at Joey's, oh, I love it. Say hi to Joey for me, please. All right, so that's the plan. That is our first list, things I'm going to do for someone else next week. Now, uh, my next week really kind of has to be the next two and a half-ish weeks. Um, Nick and I are both out of town next week. I am traveling with him on uh, one of his business trips. Um, he is, we're going to Orlando. He's got a, a huge big customer meeting in Orlando at one of the Walt Disney World resorts. And so you better believe I was like, uh, yeah, I'm coming with you. So I'm gonna go and while he's working, I'll get up and exercise and I'll go back to the room and work for a while and maybe go to the pool and then work for a while. So it'll be a working slash, you know, relaxed trip. Um, so I, there's some things I might be able to do next week for someone else in my life. And then Nick's gone the week after that again. So 
and Nick's on my list, but he's not the only one. That's the plan. All right, so what I've done, um, these I'm going to use two pieces of pattern paper, and they are both going to be from the six by eight paper pad um, from the color palette collection. I'm just gonna call it color palette because I think that's so much easier. What's really cool about the way that Simple Stories did this particular uh, six by eight pad, there are 12 colors in the collection, uh, including black and cream, but um, there, that means there is one six by eight sheet for each color. And then the back side is kind of a little bit more of a neutral from that same color, all right? So that is what I'm going to do. I'm not quite sure yet which color I wanna use, so I gotta figure that out. I don't, I'm kind of, this, this one I think is kind of pretty. This kind of um, like, light, I don't know, light blue. I guess I'll call it light blue, right? Light blue. Um, because I think I can add a lot of color to that, right? So that is, I think, my plan. But what I need to now do is get the second sheet. So this will be over here. And then I'm going to open up my little storage container here. And I'm going to come back into the paper pad. I just kind of this morning... Um, <laughs> Before we started, this is kind of a little funny, you know, just things, you know how they work. Um, all right, there we go, there's the second sheet. So this morning, uh, when I pulled out my little handy dandy notebook, my handy dandy notebook is my listing workbook that uh, I've used for the last three years almost to kind of prep for our Saturday sessions. This morning, um, I had my list topics I did not have any of list, the list items under my list topics, and my sketches were totally blank, like uh, totally blank. Um, so I kind of the last minute came up with this. Anyhow, that's why I didn't have that little second sheet out. So this is what we're going to do. We'll have that really pretty blue there, and we'll use that um, kind of a little bit more neutral uh, pattern on that side. Oh, let's get out our trimmer. We need to trim those little papers because... They are six by eight, right? Um, you see me almost exclusively using six by eight paper and paper packs, paper pads, but that size in um, my traveler's notebooks, because if we are, um, if we are using six by eight, our inserts that we use are five by eight point two five. So that means we have very little waste. Um, but the other benefit in using a smaller size um, is that the scale of the pattern is smaller. It's proportionate to the size. So if we looked at this sheet in a 12 by 12, it would be the same design, but our bird would be much bigger. The butterfly would be much bigger. This would be scaled to a 12 by 12. So when you're working in a six by six or a six by eight, that pattern is scaled down to size, which is nice. All right, so usually what I'm doing, I am trimming four and three quarters wide and I leave it at eight because that gives me kind of a nice little white border all around my pattern. All right, so we'll do the same thing here, four and three quarters by eight. Now, I always say save these little guys that you are cutting off, all right, because you can use those, right? Here's an example. Uh, that is, th that's what I did with this spread, um, kind of. These are a little bit, yeah, well, not, but you could do that same thing. I did something a little bit different here, but you could use your piece that you cut off to maybe frame something like that, or I'm trying to see if, oh, here's another example uh, where I use one of those little strips just kind of as an accent piece there. There's one more in here I want to say, maybe not in this one. Anyhow, uh, save those little strips because you definitely can use them. Um, if, if, let's just say here, let's say on this one, let's say I was not going to put pattern paper down here, a full sheet like that, um, and maybe I wanted to do my listing on that paper, I could put this over here, I could put that there, in this case I'd probably actually put this one there just to kind of bring it all together, or sometimes what I do, let's get this out of the way, or sometimes what I'll do is something like this, where this would go here, and then I would, you know, do something like that there, just so it um, kind of helped to bridge from one side to the other. But that's not what we're doing, but we might as well talk about that because you should save those little pieces. All right, so uh, we need to, I, I shouldn't say we, I like to round my corners 
uh, and I round the outside corners. My insert has rounded corners, so I like to also round my corners, but just the outside corners. So we'll do that to both of those pieces, like that. I think what I'm going to do here, I will work with these off the page. So I will create my lists or my spread here, and then once I'm done, I will come back in and adhere it here. So let's kind of move that off to the side for a sec. All right, I'm hot flashing because now that now that darn heater's got, not heater, no heater. I, I did not put a heater on. The fan has got to go back on again. It has to go back on again. Um, 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 um. Let's see. Oh, Julie, Julie said joining in while she's walking her dog. So Julie, when I just skimmed that, I thought you said you're jogging. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's impressive. You're jogging and you're typing at the same time. I can't even like walk and chew gum at the same time. You know what I mean? So I was going to be very impressed there. That was almost really impressive. Um, Wanda, this is the um, Simple Vintage, Simple Story, Simple Vintage Essentials color palette. Okay. So linked in uh, the description box of the video down below under what I'm using. Good morning, Miss Susan. How are you? Oh, that's not the one that I want. That is way too narrow, way too narrow. I use that for writing in my like project planning and things like that. That is way too narrow. All right. So I always, 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 always outline. And that's what I'm doing here. That's what I call outlining. I don't know, I've been doing that probably for 20 years uh, just because it looks very odd to me. Well, I've been doing it for so long. It's like if you ever try to part your hair on the other side, you just can't get over it. It just doesn't look right. That's what happens. If I don't outline, it doesn't look right. All right, so there we go. Um, do a little bit of decorating on here. So I thought maybe what I could do would be to pull in some color from some of the die cuts. Oh, we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about this on our next list. It'll make a lot of sense if you were wondering what the heck that was. So I think I can maybe bring in some color here. Um, I have a mixture of really three different die cut packs um, in front of me. And these aren't all the die cuts from there. I just pulled some different things out. Um, one pack is the, I think, Birds and Flowers, I think it's called. Birds and Flowers, I want to say. Hang on. Uh, one pack is the bits and pieces, the regular bits and pieces. One pack is the... Ooh, um, oh, butterfly bits, butterfly bits, all those beautiful butterflies. And then I think there's another one called birds and flowers. Floral bit. Oh, there we go. Floral bits, birds and flowers. So a mixture of different die cuts from those three packs. So I think what I can do, if I want to try to bring in a little bit of color, maybe we'll just start finding a couple of things. Maybe this guy somehow could go over here. That friendly looking little bird. Um, this is a pretty, right? Bring in maybe a little pop of pink there. Mm, 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 mm. And then maybe, I wonder if maybe we want maybe one of these little labels like this. I mean, it's a lot going on, right? There's a lot going on in that page. So let's see, maybe I don't really like that pink there. Maybe this green. Well, if I put the green there, I totally lose that whole label, right? So, I don't know, maybe we just wanna do something like this where we bring in another flower as we just play a little bit. Maybe that works, right? We're just, so we're just kind of just moving things around until we get them in a place that we are happy with. Because there's a lot already of decorative going on here, um, there may not be a, a lot of other things happening, unless I wanted to do something like that. Bright, um, happy, happy, happy. Mm, no, that's too much all there. If happy went there, We'd need to do something else a little bit up here to kind of pull our eye up because right now that just looks like it's just sticking in the middle. Mm, I don't know, that seems a little forced. Maybe we're just gonna end up like this. We'll kind of leave that there to ruminate a little bit. Um, <clears throat> as far as my title, 
things I'm going to do for someone else this week. Um, I don't think, I know I don't want to stamp that. I don't know, I, I know I don't want to use stickers for that because it's a big title. So I may just end up writing that. But um, I will not be, I will not be doing my list directly on this paper because for me, that's too much. Um, now, doesn't mean it's too much for you. It's just, I know myself, I know that's too much for me. So I am going to grab a piece of white cardstock that I can then trim down. Um, where did I find one? What? Oh, Terry, yes, we'll talk about that. Remind me, I, I know I will remember. I have to keep that like right here, literally, so I don't forget it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, I need to trim again. So I am trimming now white cardstock. And when I trim my white cardstock, I am usually at, I think, seven, seven inches by... This one we might just kind of eyeball here. So seven inches, seven inches still gives me plenty of that nice border all the way around. And I think this usually ends up being about three and three quarters when I eyeball it. Let's see, three and three quarters or four. Let's see what we end up with there. Um, oh, four and three, what? Really? Oh no, I'm sorry. It's about three and three quarters. I don't even know what I was looking at there, but whatever I was looking at, that was way off. Way off. All right, so right now on this side, the one thing that is like standing out the most to me is that pink, right? So I think I might need to bring some of that pink over here. And the way I'm going to bring that pink over is I am going to grab this my swatches um have fun lorm off to the city off to the big city um uh, all right so i've got my ink swatches here uh and my ink swatches i pretty much use anytime that i am anytime we're listing i always am pulling out the ink swatches because this is the easiest way for me to match color pink picked raspberry there we go so I've used my Swatch This Ink stamp set to um, swatch all of my Distress Oxides. And Distress Oxides are kind of my ink of choice. Uh, picked Raspberry. So there's Picked Raspberry. And then we are going to pull this guy. And then I need a little handle. Gotta get a handle on things. <laughs> there's the handle. <laughs> oh goodness, sometimes I crack myself up. All right. Um, so, um, Kitsch Flamingo. So Terry said Kitsch Flamingo and, uh, there's the difference between the two, right? Same, same different kind of, same different. Wow. Uh, kind of different. What am I trying to say? Uh, they're the same color family. They're both obviously pink. Um, but this one is a lot brighter and, um, this one, <clears throat> hang on a second, friends, just a sec. <clears throat> I gotta have a sip of water. <clears throat> Boy, I've got a little frog in my throat today. Woo! Okay. Nancy impresses the heck out of me. Nancy just typed, off to the field again as I have to move a tractor and farm implement to another field. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Nancy and her husband are farmers. And Nancy has shared in the Facebook group, she drives those huge pieces of farm equipment which to me is like the coolest thing in the whole world. It's just so awesome. So I love that. Um, all right. So anyhow, yes, I think I'm going to do picked raspberry. Picked raspberry will pull in from over there. Whereas Kitsch Flamingo, I mean, you couldn't go wrong with either, but Kitsch Flamingo is a little too close to that guy. So I want to pull in a little bit of the brightness. So that's what we're going to do. Picked raspberry. Um, Cindy said, having swatches is the best thing I ever did. And you know what, guys? Here's the thing. Um, I have a stamp set that can help you swatch your inks, but you don't have to have a stamp set to do that. The whole point is that you are swatching your inks with something so that instead of pulling out all of your different variations of pink ink, you can do this and go, okay, yep, I can see either one of those would work, but that's the one I want. And then I can pull that out, all right? So what I've also pulled out, um, these are, this is 
um, the, what is it called? Ink foam, I don't even remember. It's a foam storage tool. It's a tool um, for you to store all of your little, these little guys, your little foam guys, all right? So you'll see those on the website as well. Um, they don't come colored. They don't come with the names written in. What they do come with is the cup, the, the case. Um, and then two pre-printed, uh, whichever ink that you have, um, there are different variations. So mine says Distress Oxide inks. And then you have 20 little squares, uh, but you have two sheets of those. So your little containers like this can hold up to 40 of these little guys. 42 pre-punched circles, in case you make a mistake, you've got a couple of extras. And then 40 of your little, um, uh, little one-sided Velcro pieces so that you kind of store everything together. Because you don't want to cross-contaminate um, either your different color pinks, right? Because then what you think you're getting here is not what you're getting there. If you've used that for more than one color pink, you also don't want to cross-contaminate your types of inks, like a pigment-based ink, which is a Distress Oxide, versus, say, a dye-based ink, like a Distress Ink, because they have different properties. If you use, even if it's they're both picked raspberry, um, they have different properties, and you will mess those properties up. Um, for example, um, Distress Oxide's pigment-based ink, um, blendable, okay? They take a little bit longer to dry, maybe a minute instead of dry immediately, um, but they're blendable because they are still not, um, not, you know, they're still not dry when you're working with them. So you could do something like a little ombre effect where you could maybe start with a pink and then move into an orange and then into a yellow, but where each of those colors transitions, you can kind of blend them because they're still wet. Uh, now you can't do that. Well, I shouldn't say you can't because I'm, don't you do mixed media at all. Um, but a dye-based ink, like a Distress Ink, Distress Ink dye, Distress Oxide pigment, um, different properties. So I don't think you can do that, uh, or at least as easily, with a, um, a dye-based ink. Um, another thing is Distress Oxide's pigment-based ink, water reactive. So you can do some really cool things when you add water to the ink. Um, whereas a Distress Ink, dye-based ink, not the same. So that's about as technical as I get when it comes to um, ink differences and mixed media and what you might use the different things for. The bottom of this video, really bottom of all my listing videos, um, there is a there are actually links to two articles. Both are articles at scrapbook.com. Uh, one talks about the differences between um, the different types of inks, like a dye-based ink, a pigment-based ink, a hybrid ink. Um, and then the second article, where are my tweezers? This, oh, there they are. The second article uh, talks about specifically the differences between uh, the Distress Oxides and the Distress Inks and um, shows you lots of examples of um, the differences between the two. All right, and that's Tim Holtz showing you all of that because he's the master. Now, um, that's what happens. You get inky fingers. And so that's when I say, oh, got to pull out a wipe. Have to pull out a baby wipe because I don't like inky fingers. And um, also, inky fingers a lot of time translates to inky fingerprints on your projects, which generally I don't want, right? Okay. Um, let's see. Hi, Tina from North Dakota. How to do that on the all-day listing in May? How to do, um, which one, Wanda? Um, to do... Ink blending? Uh, tell me and I'll add it to the list of things that we do. Absolutely. Tell me, tell me. Lindsay Ann, um, good morning. She said, hi, this is my first live. Well, welcome, welcome. Welcome to you. Happy to have you. All right. So, oh, see those preserves. Where did you come from? He came, he must have fallen off my other guy. Hang on. Hang on, I gotta put that back down. There we go. All right. Okay, uh, Wanda, that box of ink colors. So Wanda, um, there is actually a video. Um, Amy did a video. So if you um, shoot me an email and I will send you the link, but on the website, when you go to that product, there's a video where she walks you through getting all of that whole thing prepared. Um, and it's super helpful, super, super helpful. All right, so now see how adding, just how we ink those edges 
Look at what a difference that makes. And that is how we're bringing a little bit of that pink color over to the other side. Here we have inked edges, and then here we have not. Look at what a difference that makes, right? And super easy, super, super easy to do that. All right, let's go ahead and um, Crafty said, welcome, this is my second live. I think I'm hooked. I love that, I love it, I love it, I love it. Yes, welcome, welcome. We just have fun, right? We're just playing, we're chatting, we're crafting, we're having fun. And like I said, not everybody lists. And some of you have never listed. Some of you have been with me four years and you have literally never listed. And that's okay, right? Because you're here for something else. Um, you are working and it's passing the time. I'm keeping you company. Um, um, you, well, it happened a lot during the pandemic, right? Yeah, that, no, no, that doesn't work. That's totally forced. Um, it happened a lot during the pandemic where um, we were just together because we were so starved for any kind of human connection, right? Um, and then we just continued. We just had our four-year anniversary of our Saturday listing session, so that's kind of crazy. It's crazy to think about. It really is. It's been a, a long time, but we've, I've never stopped doing them because originally my intent was to do one one class, I'm like, I'm gonna film one video. To I like Traveler's Notebooks, I'll film one little video and just show people how to use Traveler's Notebooks and things they can use them for. And you know, I'll just put that out there because I am like panicking because the whole world is ending. This was the beginning of the pandemic and probably other people are too. So I'll just put something out there to get our mind off of things. And then here we are four years later. Um, I just pulled out the sticker book. So there are two sticker books in this collection. Um, one is your little um, typewriter, right? Our little typewriter labels. And just like the six by eight pad that I talked about, these are in those 12 colors. So you have a full sheet for each color. Um, all of the little words on the word strips are different from sheet to sheet. But then this is the other, the second uh, sticker book. And this one Again, one color per sheet, which I love the way they did this. I love the way they organized this whole collection because um, everything is just organized by color. So if I'm like, ooh, I think I need something yellow up here, right? Remember I was trying to put that little guy right there and it just wasn't working. He's too big, right? We need something smaller. I'm not opposed to a butterfly, but we just need something smaller. So let's go to our yellow sheet here and see if there's something that we can find. There is, okay, so that same butterfly, right? That same butterfly, a little bit smaller. Maybe we do that, let's see. Uh, or do we wanna do three things? Maybe we wanna do three things, because I've got three things there. So we'll just start playing. We're just gonna play. So usually the way that we do this is, oopsie, usually um, I start decorating and then I start working on a list and then I um, will finish decorating kind of after. I mean, you know, I'll kind of get going and then now what I think, we need something there. We need something small. We need something in a different color. So what if we went to this color and there are these kind of little snap things. Maybe we make a little snap thing here. Let's see what this might look like if I put that in there. little snap. What if we just hide part of that little snap or a little snap? Hmm. Ah, right over his head, <laughs> like one big eye. Yeah, no, we won't do that. Um, I don't know. It's not really, it's not really happening. So I don't think that is it. Let's see what else we might put in there. That's kind of small. Um, what if we put you know what it might be? This, it just might be this guy. Maybe, maybe we need a different, maybe we need more color. Maybe we need like this little bird or one of our little um, butterflies. No, we already have a butterfly and it's stuck down. So what if this little bird happens here? Let's just see. Oh, well, first of all, I don't like that little branch he's on because he's just like floating now. That branch is floating. So if this went here, not working either. So now, I don't know, maybe we're back to that little bird. Are we, are we back to him? Yeah, but if this little guy just kind of pokes out. Hmm. 
Mm, let's see, that might be a little too odd because it's a giant flower compared to that bird, right? Yeah. yeah, no, it looks like he's got a big flower coming out of his head, a big weed. He's got a big weed coming out of the bird's head, so that's not happening either. So, uh, oh, actually, what if maybe, hmm, what if we use more like one of these things? These little labels, this guy would have to move, okay? We'd have to move that little man. Wah! Yeah, that really is not gonna wanna come back up, is it? Let's try, we're gonna try really hard to get that back up. Um, yeah, the sticker books. A couple people are saying the sticker books are awesome. They really are. Um, it's just, it, it is one of those collections that I think was so well thought out. Um, the way that they organized all the product, the stickers having one sheet of each color, the um, the pattern paper having one kind of sheet of each color, or actually two because there, you know, there are two, two sheets. Okay. Um, 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 well, no, I don't want to do that. I'm just trying to. Normally, I don't mess with this something this much, right? Normally, I'm like, you just got to move on. But I'm messing. I am really messing here, aren't I? Um, so the problem with this, if I put this up here, I've now really infringed on where I'm going to put my title, right? So I, I, I actually, I'm just going to do it. I like that there. So this little bird here, maybe. And then what if our little butterfly comes in here? A little bit. All right, so that's, I think that was my problem. I think it was super heavy down here. And then up here, it was just what I was trying to do it was too light. So that'll work. I'm okay with that. That will be good. Um, Wanda said, I would have never have ordered that second sticker book just by looking at it, but you opened it and it changed my mind, right? And that's, I mean, I think with a lot of us, I, you know, it's interesting. Um, when I look at how I get influenced by things, um, you know, I might see, a, let's just say I see a shirt. Let's say I see a shirt online at Old Navy and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't really like that. And then I see my friend Vicky wearing it and I'm like, oh my goodness, I need that shirt, right? Because sometimes you just need to see it off the rack. And that's what we just did. You're kind of seeing it off the rack, right? Off the rack, so to speak. All right, so it's it's coming, it is coming. Um, I think we'll leave it here and then play and list and then we'll come back and see what else we maybe add. Um, and as soon as I say that, you know now something else is coming in. What if um, the washi in this collection, there's actually um, two packs of washi and there are kind of the cool, there's the cool palette and the warm palette. So six rolls in the cool palette, six rolls in the warm palette. So I've just pulled the yellow. Let's see maybe what this would look like. Put something a little bit down here. And then maybe, I don't know if it'll work over into there or not, we'll see. Let's see if we think that maybe this would work. We'll just pretend. I think so. So I'm gonna rip a little bit of that. And uh, so I just ripped a little bit of that because I like a ripped look on washi. And I have now adhered those two together, which I don't wanna do. Um, I don't think I want it to go any further in here. I need to deal with those before I keep on moving because those are gonna keep falling. They're gonna keep disappearing. They're falling from where I want them. So. Uh, one of the things, and I probably, when we're together um, for all day National Scrapbook Day, you know what, or International Scrapbook Day, I'm gonna just make a little note for myself. I think I need to do, I think I should, do another little thing about um, layering. I'll kind of do another layering demo. I did one of those a couple of years ago, but um, some people get really um, intimidated when it comes to layering and not knowing how to layer and not knowing how to approach it and, um, kind of the different rules that will help things look good. So I think I will, um, I think I'll add that to our Saturday session um, 
for International Scrapbook Day on the 4th of May. All right, so what I've done, I've pulled out highlighter tape, and you may have seen me use this before. Um, it is reusable, repositionable um, tape. And removable, repositionable, like way even more so than washi. Like um, sometimes you can pull washi on and off, but this truly is removable and repositionable because it is meant for highlighting like in a textbook. So if you think of how um, thin uh, like paper in a textbook or paper in a paperback book is, if you'd put any kind of tape on, it would just peel the words right off. But this does not do that. Um, the way that I use this, and you'll notice because it's reusable, repositionable, I have a bunch of it just here around the tape dispenser because you can just keep using it over and over. I use it when I am layering die cuts. So if I'm like, okay, I like the way those three are positioned. You know, you could spend, you know, 20 minutes trying to move those things around to where you get them, where you like them, right? And you get them where you like them, and then what happens? Well, now you've got to adhere to them. So now you have to take them off, and then put your adhesive on and put them back on. And I can never get them in the same position um, as I had them, you know, when I finally decided that I liked where they looked. So that's where your repositionable tape comes in. So I'm just going to take that and hook those two together and take this and hook that guy onto those two. So now um, what initially was three individual die cuts, that is now one die cut. So I can pick it up as one and I can come in with my um, adhesive and get adhesive on all those little parts. Come back in and place that down again. All right, and then it just pulls right up, okay? There we go, and there we go. I've got a little piece on there still. But once I've used it, I just pop it right back on there. So my friend Amy kind of introduced me to that, uh, and I think it's just awesome. It makes life so much easier. Sometimes I would try to take a picture of it first. Well, obviously I wouldn't be able to do that uh, when I was working live, but if I was, you know, designing something, sometimes I'd get it where I wanted it, take a picture, pull it all off, you know, then try to piece it all back together once I have adhesive on, and it just never would quite work the same. So easy, easy. All right, there we go. Now we have this down here. Um, I feel like there's still, it needs some, a little extra something. Um, this guy, I just saw over off to the edge. Um, I was thinking I wanted something black because I have some black in here and my writing will be in black. So if I have a little bit of a black accent, this is actually going to work really well because um, this is, our list is things I'm going to do for someone else this week. And look at this, this washi tape, <laughs> There's your days of the week. So that kind of works really well, right? Let's just do maybe a little bit of this right here. And then I want to, I don't want it to be as wide. So there we go. All right. Oopsie. Um, that is actually part of a two-piece set. And you will see those on the website. So th that is a set of washi, which is really fun. All right, but that we put back together. I don't know if I'll end up leaving these here because it may look a little odd with just those two pieces there. We'll see. All right, so that's a good start for now. Now I've really worked myself into a bind um, because I have nowhere for my title. I have nowhere for all, I have nowhere for my title. But what I wonder is, could I? Uh, all right, we'll see. We'll see how this works. I'm having a thought. Um, what if I make a little thin, about an inch? I don't know. That might. That's probably too thin. Let's go an inch and a half. All right. So white cardstock again. I'm thinking, what if somewhere over here, I do something like this? like a little notch, so it's gonna look like kind of a little banner, like that, and I do somewhere over here. Mm. Okay, let's just try something, oh, put those away. It's all about playing, right? There's no right or wrong. It's just when you get something to where you like it and it looks good to you, all right? So, what would that look like? We'll just kind of leave that there for a sec. We can go ahead and write our title on here, right? We could write our title on here 
and then we'll see if we like it or not. Oh, but the other thing I think I probably need to do, I might need to ink the edges of this because it might look odd otherwise. All right, so it would kind of look like this as we just temporarily put a placeholder in there, right? Um, I'm just thinking if I want something, before I start writing, if I want a little something kind of right here to break up all of that white. So if I wanted a little something, we can probably go back to the sticker book, right? Because I want something maybe a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. Um, could I put the title? Oh, Merrily. Yep, there we go. On the right. Um, okay, what pen do I use to outline? Hi, KJ. I use, um, this is a Sharpie, a uh, little Sharpie, so super, super fine, um, fine tip. I'm going to say it's probably a, here, this is not a Sharpie, but I will show you um, these two side by side, uh, just for reference. This is a, um, like a 0 .03 pen. I'll show, bring this up to the camera. And this is a Sharpie. So that is probably, I want to say maybe a, 0.07. All right, so see the difference? But this is, um, that is what I use, that little guy. And this actually right here, that is also the 0.03. So there's a difference right there between the Sharpie and then a super fine. So that's probably a 0.07. Probably a 0.07 and those are on the website. All righty, oops, look it, I moved some things. How did I do that? Moved that around a little bit. Okay, so we're still trying to decide if we maybe want, um, a little sticker in here or something, right? Where'd our sticker book go? Oh, here it is. All right, so what would we put there? What color would we put there? There's a lot of color going on. Now, I definitely won't use red because there's no red. I don't want to introduce another. Um, hmm. I probably, I don't know, look at maybe. What if, what if, what if, what if? Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What about, all right, what if we came up the side with that? I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to that at all. So we're gonna do that. Now I've added color, but I've now also kind of helped to move this up a little bit, which now also tells me I need to put something else down here. All right, so looks like now I've stuck that down. So now we are, uh, now we're committed to our title there. Oopsie. All right. Uh, how are we doing this Saturday, friends? Are we good? Are we good? What's on your schedule for today? Um, I think right here, I know what I can put there. Right there, I am going to put um, a little, oh, where? Oh, there it is. Um, a little um, roller date stamp. I'm going to put the date there. So today is April the 20th. April 20th, 2024, right? All right, let's look. Let us look. I need black. Well, I'd like to use black, so I'm going to use black. And I always test it first. Make sure that it's the right date. Make sure it somehow didn't get switched to 2023 or a different year, and I didn't know. My April was a little bit too low. So I think it's going to go there. I, I'm totally, this is like total mirror, mirror version of what I would normally do. Because normally I would have my title over here, I'd have my date somewhere over here, but it, it is what it is. I think it's gonna be okay. I think it is going to be okay. Um, I wish that I had, I wish I had inked that. So I think what I'm going to do is do a little double line here. And kind of like my in the box stamp set with the double line. I know it looks kind of weird right now. Uh, picked raspberry is what I had used here. So what I can do is pull out, the picked raspberry watercolor pencils. There we go. 
Um, I don't watercolor. I don't really do any mixed media other than if you call that mixed media, which is not in my book, but I don't do any mixed media, but I like to have, um, I don't do any watercoloring, but I like to have the watercolor pencils because they match the inks that I do use. So I'm gonna, going to come in, actually, let me um, sharpen that. I just want that a little bit sharper. Uh, scrapbook sister, I love that for you. She says she is actually scrapping and listing after a three, three, a three, a three week slump. I mean, I don't love the slump for you, but I love that you are kind of coming out of that slump. That's awesome. Uh, Tina, Tina, Tina said just got done having a nail painting party with my Girl Scout troop at the nursing home. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. That's so cool. That is so cool. Um, let's see. Deborah said just ordered the book bundle and a few other items. Okay, Team Lail, busy bees with another order waiting. Hurry, hurry, I can't wait. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Uh, Nancy's going to a um, lacrosse game for her grandson. I miss those days. I mean, not grandkids, but kids. Um, our boys, I miss that. Uh, Debbie is um, straightening up her scrap room. You know what, sometimes, and here's the thing. You don't have to be doing what we're doing. You don't have to be listing to be here, right? Um, a lot of times we just want like a little company. We want something in the background. And sometimes we don't want music. I don't know about you guys. I've been playing on repeat the new Taylor Swift um, album albums that released uh, the other day. But sometimes you, you're musicked out. Sometimes you don't want to be listening to a podcast or something. Sometimes you just want, um, you know, some company. And it could be, you know, someone on YouTube that you're listening. Maybe you're not even watching. You're just hanging out. Um, Marilee's going to a dinner tonight with her bestie celebrating hubby in 30 years. Marilee, congratulations. That's amazing. Good for you. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing. Um, I'm sure I've missed lots of things. <gasps> Kathy, off to the USC Trojan spring game. Go Trojans. Put a label at the bottom for, um, okay. But I'm, no, I'm backing up a little too far. Um, just seeing what you guys are doing. Seeing what you're doing. Um, oh, Terry. Oh my goodness. That, that is, wow. Terry said lots of stuff this weekend here in Littleton to honor the 25th anniversary of the Columbine tra tragedy. 25 years. Wow. That, and that kind of was the, I'm not going to say the impetus that put us into a whole new um, world, uh, but that was kind of the start of it, right? And um, if you're not familiar, especially if you're not from the U.S., um, the Columbine, those were kind of the, the first, I'm not going to say the first, but probably the, 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 the largest, the one that had the most attention and um, the school shooting um, at a high school in Columbine, Colorado. Oh, that is, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Here's a, here's a brighter. Terry is also starting to make the flower girl dress for her daughter's wedding, May 17th. That is good. That's fun. Good, good, good. Um, Carrie, Carrie, did you hear you won? Carrie, you won. She said, this is my second live listing newbie. Love your channel. Thank you, Carrie. We have fun. We have a lot of fun here. Um, Heather's working on planner things. Uh, and Lisa's working on the this is me list. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so um, we're getting there. We are getting there. I think maybe I might need to come back to this. All right. I might need to come back to this little area uh, because now what we have, we have kind of this little, this little swoop, right? The swoop that starts here and goes all the way over. And right now I kind of have this break. So I think I may need to go back and fill the gap, uh, fill the gap. What did I do with the black? Where, oh, there it is. Okay. There's my black and the yellow so all the washi is basically um the exact same thing well not exact but it's the exact same kind of concept uh all with kind of the color each color um per roll all right i'm going to just lift this guy up i wonder if I, I might be able to still use him i might be able to still use him i have a new tool that i have sourced we've ordered them from japan now we're just waiting for them to arrive um and that is this little thing that I've been using. You may have noticed I've been using that little thing to uh, lift up things that I need to kind of reposition or remove um, like this. But now, oopsie, I have that little alphabet, not alphabet, the days of the week on there. So these will be hopefully coming shortly. But it's just a nice little tool to lift 
there we go, to kind of slide under something you may have already adhered. All right, now, this is going to need to be way longer. <laughs> Obviously, my little piece doesn't work, and I don't know that I can, well, let's see, I might be able to just connect that, like I connected that. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, no, I can't, because it's, um, I don't even know where I got that. Let's start here. So that was Saturday. So if I just basically cut right um, after the S in Saturday, like that, then I'll be able to use it. Um, yes, 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 yes. So it is, it's, um, some of you have this, uh, and that is a tool from Creative Memories. Um, and Creative Memories will no longer uh, be around. Um, I think Stampin' Up bought parts of the business, but anyhow, um, this is going to be the new little thing. All right, well, for me. So now I just need to add my little, kind of I'm just doing a little operation here. Like back in the day when I was a kid, Remember the operation game? Talk about like anxiety inducing. That's where all of the Gen Xers, we're gonna talk about that later today. Um, all the Gen Xers got their anxiety was from games in the 80s like Operation. And uh, remember that one that was red and you'd push it down and you'd put a little white things in, or yellow little shapes in and you had to get all the shapes in before it popped up and yeah. I don't even know. Oh, operation, yes. I was doing my little operation there. Need to add a little bit more adhesive. All right, so there we go. All right, so, right, coming together. Now it's all kind of, see how, see what that did? It now has connected it all. All right, now it's probably time for our title, right? Things I'm going to do for someone else next week. Things I'm going to do for someone else next week. And now I think I can just write it in here. Oh, that is that. I got to get that out of there. That is not the pen. That is not the pen. So we've got to fake it. Things I'm going to do for someone else next week. All right, now I have an idea. Uh, one more thing. I am going to grab a little bitty a little bitty heart. Um, let's see. So these hearts are, these are puffy shapes, little puffy hearts from Doodlebug. So what color might we want that to be? Maybe, maybe a little yellow? Maybe, let's see. Let us see. Oh, right, close to my heart. Close to my heart. Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay. Um, I stand corrected. This is a creative memories tool. Uh, it is close to my heart that is closing. Don't, 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 don't think I just shared something. Uh, I just did not like leak anything. I, it, it is not, uh, creative memories is not closing. Close to my heart is closing. Woo. That was a, that was not a good, that's how, that's how rumors get started, right? That's how rumors get started. Thank you, Mary J. Blige. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Jack in the box. KJ said too, Jack in the box. Pure anxiety, right? Pure anxiety. Let's see. How about this there? Yeah, there we go. Things I'm going to do for someone else next week. All right, I think we're ready to make our list now. <laughs> now we're ready. And I think what I will do, since I've kind of incorporated this heart, I won't use little hearts, um, puffy stickers, but I will use little hearts for my bullets uh, for the things that I'm going to do for someone else next week. So we need a bullet uh, stamp. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Here we go. I've pulled out three bullets and more stamp sets. Um, I think we will use the OG, the original OG bullets and more stamps. So that, oh, and guess what? If you were with me last week, I remember one of my little stamps flew away. I've never found it, never found it. Okay, here we go. So let's do that little heart. And they're teeny tiny, bullet stamps are teeny, teeny, tiny, right? Teeny, teeny, tiny. So, oh yeah, sorry, I'm so sorry. Let me just repeat that again. Uh, 
Creative Memories is thriving. I don't know. I assume they're thriving, right? Um, but they are not going out of business. It's close to my heart. I shouldn't say going out of business. Close to my heart is closing shop. It has nothing to do with Creative Memories. Sorry. That's, that's scary uh, that I did that. All right. So um, I'm using my little stamping stylus. The stamping stylus is the little stamping block, right? It's just a stamping block for a really teeny stamp because if I had a little tiny stamping block, for that stamp, it would make it really hard to hold on to. And if I was using a really big stamping block for that little tiny stamp, I would have a really hard time getting the pressure right and my um, little my little hearts would be skimwampus because there's too much extra real estate around that stamp on the stamping block. So, stylus, that's what the stylus does. Um, I'm going to look for the a yellow. I'm gonna say fossilized amber, maybe? Let's see how close we are. If fossilized amber would be it. I think that's pretty close. Fossilized amber. Let's get her out. Let's get her out. All right, fossilized amber. So um, on the stamping stylus, uh, there is a little, let me get this repositioned. Okay, there's a little sticker. The sticker is on there so that you can orient where you are placing your stamp, when your stamp has a direction to it, when the pattern has a direction to it. So you can make sure that your, you know, your heart are pretty much in the same direction every time and not, you know, um, all different ways. So as long as I place my stamp, uh, I place that so that I've placed it there, the stamp is in the right position for the heart. As long as I'm always making sure that my little squirrel there scatter is in the same place, I should have my heart in the same direction uh, pretty much every time, right? So I see there's my squirrel. There we go, there's my little hearts. Okay, and then look how easy that makes it to do our stamping. Because that is a, um, look at something that are like a pen, it's shaped like a pen and the length of a pen, so our hand is very familiar with that. All right, I am so crooked today. I'm so sorry, everything is like so crazy crooked about my camera. All right, um, 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 um. all right, so here we go. Um, let's see, let me look at my list. How many things? One, two, three, um, four, five, six. Six things on my list. So uh, I am going to, ooh, okay, hang on. Ooh. All right, you see what I have going here? Uh, I had a little bit of um, liquid glue there for my glue pen and I could feel it because it was tacky. And then for whatever oils and dirt or whatever I have on my fingers, I rubbed it and now it is made of sticky kind of blob there. So what I'm gonna try to grab is, let me see if I can find that little gummy thing. That little gummy thing. I need to take care of this before I continue. I have not used the gummy thing in a while. Is it with the adhesive? Oh, well, everything's so organized in here, but come on. Where? If I was a little gummy thing, where would I be? Oh, I bet down by the adhesive. Yes. <laughs> There's five of them. It's down where all my glue sticks and everything are. So this little thing. Have you seen this little? Let's see if this will work. Will it pull it off? Yes. Ah. Perfect. Okay, gone. Gone, gone. All right. What do they call that? It's a, um, oh, it's called an adhesive pickup square. Don't use it often, but when you need it, you need it. Now, um, this has been sitting here for a bit. I need to re-ink it. All right, so if anyone that's on my list is watching this week, just pretend that you don't hear these things that I'm going to do for you. Okay, so the first one is, I don't know, depends on where he is in the house. He's probably in the other room. Well, of course he's in the other room because he's not in here. Okay, I don't see him, but I'm gonna close the door. I mean, it's not a big thing that I'm gonna do for my husband, but I am going to, this one has to wait like a week and a half because it doesn't work in the hotel and then he'll be out of town again. I'm going to um, make Nick coffee in the morning. So 
Nick's love language, my husband, is acts of service, okay? he That's how he shows his love. He does uh, very nice things for me, like bringing me coffee in bed every morning. So for him, I am going to do some things I'm going to do for someone else next week. I'm going to do that for him, okay? Uh, next up, I'm going to, I hope she's not still here, and if she is, oh well, I am going to call mom and invite her to lunch. We'll go to lunch together, okay? That's another thing I'm going to do nice for someone else next week. Um, next up, I'm going to um, get Starbucks gift cards for Lily and Denise. That work for me. They both love Starbucks, so I just have little gift cards for them. I like to do little things like that, just out of the blue for them, because I think out of the blue things, right? Out of the blue things, out of the blue kindness is like one of the best things you can do because people aren't expecting it, right? Um, I am going to um, call my neighbor Lisa, call Lisa and schedule Finally, a time for the four of us to get together and play cards and taste some gin. Uh, we brought a couple bottles back um, of gin back uh, when we were in Ireland and Scotland, and um, they... Um, they, uh, I don't know, maybe within the last year we're in Ireland. And so we thought we'd play cards because we like to play, I think they play Euchre. Um, we play hearts and we play Euchre. So we'll get together and play Euchre and do a little gin tasting. But we've been trying to do this for a really long time and it never happened. So I'm going to do that this week, next week. Um, all right, next up, what else is on my list? I am going to, once, well, not once and for all, I need to finish it. It's been in progress since January. Um, finish cleaning out and reorganizing the closet. Um, now, that may not seem like it's really something nice for someone, but... Uh, our closet is always a giant mess and it's always me. And so um, that will make Nick very happy if I finally do that. And he'll be, we'll be out of town together next week, but week after that, he'll be out of town. So I'll be able to just really work on it and get that done. Um, the very last thing is um, um, buy food and snacks for Sam while he's here. So Sam's our younger son. He lives in Salt Lake um, or area. You know, he lives um, maybe like 20 minutes from us. When we go out of town, he comes to our house and house sits and cat sits. Well, cat sits, it's his cat. Um, but I like to have, you know, some of his favorite drinks and dinners and snacks and things like that for him um, when he's here. So I will do that uh, this afternoon before we leave tomorrow. So there we go, friends. There is my list of things that I'm going to do for someone else next week, okay? Um, kind of goes back to a couple of weeks ago, um, our list that we did about kindness and being kind and how being kind matters and how being kind, doing something nice for someone else can take all different shapes and forms. It does not have to cost money. It could be saying thank you. It could be making coffee for the person that makes me coffee every morning. Uh, so. There we go, there's our little list. And I am going to, um, I need to now um, adhere that into my insert. So I will, um, dee -dee -dee, get that, my adhesive on there, and this little guy will go over here, like so. Whoopsie, ooh, you know what? I did not, remember when I was just putting that there to see if I liked it? I did not ever put, 
oops, gosh darn it, adhesive on there. And now I just put that adhesive way too far out. So I have to take care of that right now. I can't take care of that later because it's, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, you know what I should do? You guys want to see, well, I'm not going to do it. I, mean, I was going to pull out the undo, but I won't, won't do it right now. I just, I of course now picked off a little bit of the paper, but it's okay, actually. You kind of can't tell that I picked off the paper because it's, um, it is, it's kind of a collage -y looking thing, vintage. So that's what just happened. I ended up picking off a little bit of the paper when I removed that adhesive, but it's okay. You'll never know. No one's going to know. They're going to know. No one's going to know. All righty. First list down. All right. So let me ask you, even if you're not listing with me, what is something that you are going to do um, for someone else next week? What's something? Doesn't have to be big. You don't even have to say who it is. Like maybe your best friend's on here and you're going to do something for her and you don't want her to know, but you can just say, right? What's something you're going to do for someone else next week? All right, so now we have to do a little bit of cleanup. I've got to get this. Ooh, actually, before I do that, I need to, um, I need to clean off this stamp and put it away. All right, I need to clean off my stamp and put it away because those little stamps get lost very easily because they're so teeny. Um, Debbie, I know I was going to pull it undo, right? Um, let's see. <gasps> Pam, buy my office staff their favorite lunch. Pam, I know. I know because you've bought things um, from me for your office staff. Um, you, I think, are a very nice person to work with, I'm going to guess, or work for, work with, work for. I think you are a very nice person to work with. For because it seems like you do nice things for your people, which is so awesome. Um, Debbie is hosting a shoebox card swap with snacks and hot tubbing. Ooh, that sounds fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, Debbie Farnham did uh, cleaning for her aunt yesterday and do a little bit more next week. Right, that's so nice. Um, Karen is going to give compliments and make phone calls. You know what? Make a phone call, right? If you normally send somebody a text or an email, call them, right? Much more personable. That's something nice. That's definitely something nice to call your friend and say, hey, how you doing? I was thinking about you today. Um, Anne is going to make some cookies for her husband. I love it. Um, Christine is going to remind her bestie how much her friendship means to me. You know what? That's so important, right? Because we a lot of times take our friends for granted. We take people in our life for granted. We need to remind them how important they are to us. Um, Terry said, send out the thing I promised I would send out a few weeks ago to my friend, Lail. <laughs> ah, Terry. Oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. I won't be here. <laughs> so you're good. I totally forgot about it. Yeah, you've got two wedding brains, right? I mean, you've had, you've had a lot going on. All right, so I am just going to put all of these things back in this little container. And then we will move on to our next list, all right? Our next list is, let's see. Oh, okay. This is a fun one. I mean, that was a fun one too that we just did, but this is a really fun one. This one is growing up, fill in the blank. Your generation, okay? Growing up and then you fill a blank, if only the blank for your generation. Gen X, um, the, okay, hold on. There's a whole list of them. I think there are seven generations um, that someone in our world has defined and each generation um, has a, um, a year range to it and a name to it. So, for example, I am Gen X. Gen X, people that were born between 1965 and 1980. So my next list will be like growing up Gen X. And I'm going to make a list of things that kind of define Gen X for me, okay? Wanda's a baby boomer. Um, Julie's cooking and cleaning and hosting everyone for your stepson's wedding. Oh my goodness, Julie. That's amazing. How fun. That's a lot of work for you. But I, I bet you love that you're able to do that. Um, Scrapbook Sister says, start making my mom's day card for family and friends. Oh, very fun. Um, so if you want to jump in on this list and you're not sure which generation you are, uh, I have a link on the blog. So if you go to laylbymail.com and click on blog, um, the blog post for today's listing session, which is April 20th, 2024, um, there is a link 
to an article, I think on Parenting Magazine or something like that, that uh, defines each of the generations um, in the age range in the name. So um, Karen's also Gen Xer. 111 Renee's is a baby boomer. Um, Pamela's going to, um, ooh, fun Pamela, with her bestie and her daughter or scrapbook convention. Gen X all the way, Sarah Foss says, wouldn't have it any other way. Dawn is a baby boomer. She's a baby boomer, lordy. All right, so get this collection put away, and then we are ready to work on the next list. But that's our next list. Um, uh, growing up Gen X. So you could fill in the blank. Growing up baby boomer, growing up, you know, whatever generation you are. Um, this I would love to, now I know, here's the deal. I know that I can't get the boys, our boys, Jack and Sam, who are 27 and 20, excuse me, 26 and 23. I know I can't get them to actually phys physically make this list, but it would sure be a fun like dinner conversation the next time that we're all together, right? So you're whatever they're gen, I don't know what they are, gen Z, I don't know. I don't know what they are. Um, but it would sure be a fun dinner conversation. Like what, what defined your era? What defined your generation? And it doesn't, I mean, you can take this whatever way you want. There are no politics. There are no, it's all just things that remind me of kind of, kind of when I was a kid, like in the eighties. So growing up Gen X, that's why it's kind of when I was a kid, because growing up as a Gen Xer. All right, so what I thought I would use for this one is the True Colors collection from Simple Stories. So we're using another Simple Stories. Uh, just because this is just like a really fun, whimsical, lots of great bright colors collection. So that is what I'm going to do. And I have not pulled out any, any, any of the product. So uh, we'll just figure it out together, right? We'll ooh, I kind of like that. All right, we'll figure it out together. But, ooh, let's get this little guy out of the way. Lots of fun, bright things. Okay. Um, I know that I want to use alpha stickers um, for part of my title. It will say like Gen X. So I'll write growing up and then I'll use Gen X for um, title. So let's see what we want to do here. I mean, I have a lot of things on my list. I think that, oh goodness, I like literally, all right. <laughs> Um, I have no idea. I have no idea how I want this to look. So guess what I, Guess what we're going to do? We're going to scrap lift. Scrap lift, right? I'm going to copy. Not copy. I'm going to be inspired by a list that I have done um, in the past, right? How about that? Um, okay. So what about this was a list we did in August of 2020. And it was um, some of my favorite summer memories when I was growing up. So I kind of like having maybe a little bit of explanation over here and then maybe some things here and here and here and then doing my list. I don't know, maybe, right? So that one, interesting. Well, there's a little bit of a pattern there. So let's see. Let's just kind of see and use that maybe as a jumping off point. Um, what did my... Oh, this is funny. This, you want to see um, really quickly because I'm like, well, let me see what my sketch looks like. You want to see what my sketch looks like? <laughs> Growing up Gen X, that's all I have. Um, that, look at, that was what I thought my, um, the last list was going to look like. I did say collage, the open page there, but I had butterflies across the bottom. It didn't turn out that way at all. But, so sometimes you have no idea what you want to do at all. And this is an example of that. So, I'm gonna scrapbook to myself. I'm just kind of copying something I've done in the past. Mm, 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 mm. Let's look. I know I sure like this one. This is sure a fun one. That guy. And, ooh. Hmm. Maybe those two together. Now, am I remembering? Let's see. Those are the bits and pieces. So, this little guy is not a bits and piece. He is a big bits, I think. That is a, oh no, I don't like that. It's too big. All right, too big. So what I would like, maybe let's look for the journal bits. Here we go, journal bits. Let's see, I would like to be able, oh, he's a journal bit. I think he goes back in here. 
or maybe it's a big bit because it's a don't mind me as I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. I would like to, if I'm kind of going, look it, if I kind of want to go with the same design, I kind of have a little frame there maybe that we could figure something out with, right? And then I need something to be able to journal on, like something right there. So I could probably write something really small in a little frame like that. That would totally work. So there's a couple of different frames Let's take those and see if maybe we make those work. Um, I wanna see what else we have in here. This little guy, maybe I do kind of my little story on that, just talking about. Ah, okay, look. Hi, honey. Are you on the third list yet? No, why? <laughs> Spaz, no. Aha, uh -huh, look it. Okay, that is a big bit. Yes, Wanda, this is true color I'm using. Uh, that is a big bit. That is the smaller one from the journal journal bit. So I think we're going to keep uh, those things out. I think that's what we're working with. So I think primarily, so far, I am working with the journal bits. I think that's kind of what we're going with so far. And I think this is a little bit too large over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Now, what's funny, I could do awesome. Because awesome, because like when I was when I was a kid growing up as a Gen Xer, we would say totally awesome, totally awesome, dude. <laughs> Although I still use dude, I call them all all the time. I'll like with Jack and some I'll be like dude, like what are you thinking, dude? So, all right. So let's see. Maybe kind of along those lines, we have journal bits out. This guy needs to go. I, these got all mixed up somehow. I don't know what happened. That's all right, but I think maybe some flowers. I love those flowers. Ooh, this could be a fun little one to use. Oh, upside down TV, right? That there's part of something in there that totally reminds me of being a kid growing up when the when the TV would stop at uh, midnight. I think we talked about that last week. The TV would stop at midnight, right? And it would um, it would play the national anthem, and then it would do that and make the white noise. All right, so I think we've got a good start-ish going here. Let's see, I gotta go back on here and see who we've got. Um, the different generations. Um, 111 Renee's Baby Boomer, Dawn Milbrat's Baby Boomer, um, Vintage, Christine said Go Baby Boomer, uh, Mary J Baby Boomer, Lisa Boulay, Gen Xer, Terry Gen Xer, just barely, she was born in 65, Mary Lee Gen Xer, Crafty Gen Xer, Julie, baby boomer, Gen X, Wanda, lots of baby boomers and Gen Xers. Yes, right? Lots of baby boomer, boomers and Gen Xers. Um, boomer, but at the end, so I don't remember much of it. Remember more Gen X. And you know what? You Right, make it work. Make it work. Miss what paper line? Uh, Sarah, uh, uh, Stacy. sorry, not Sarah. Stacy. I am using, this is true color from Simple Story. So um, you'll find it on the website or you'll find it linked in the description box of the video down below. It will take you to the page that says what I'm using. All right, so this, I this actually, this could, I think this may work for my list because I'm, I would be okay with writing in here, I think, um, and not being on white, maybe. I'm not sure, we'll have to see. So um, here we need to trim this to, oh, I don't need to do that part, uh, trim this to four and three quarters. Uh, so I'll talk about this really quickly while I'm working. This, does this look familiar to any of you Gen Xers out there? That lip balm that's in the little metal tin and you do this, it slides and there's your lip balm, right? This one's watermelon, it smells so good. I just might put some on. All right, um, this is very funny. When we were in Carmel last month, um, my friend Sherry and I were uh, shopping. I don't remember what the guys were doing, but we were shopping. And I'm like, we went to this old drugstore, this really old drugstore, this really cool drugstore in Carmel. Um, and um, they have all this, it, it's like a new old drugstore. They have all this display merchant, like display uh, antique, like drugstore things. And when we were in there, I'm like, oh my gosh, Sherry, do you remember growing up 
the little lip stuff and it was a little metal tin and you would slide it with your thumb. Oh, this part, remember? And I would do this like over and over and over again, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and she's like, oh my gosh, yes, I remember that. Literally the next store we went in and we're in Carmel in like the tourist zone. So we're in some store that's all touristy and has touristy stickers and magnets and t-shirts and I'm buying postcards or whatever. And I go up to the counter and the counter in this store, this is not the drugstore, total tourist store. They had these and I'm like, oh my gosh, literally five minutes ago we were talking about this. Now, I spent way more than I should have on this. This, this little thing was $10, but I'm like, you know what? This is like part of my childhood. I have to have this. So yes, um, from a little drugstore in, uh, in Carmel, but I will tell you, and I obviously have nothing to do with this company. Um, on here it says Tint, T-I-N-T-E, cosmetics.com. So they must have like licensed or it's made in the USA. Um, licensed or I don't know, redid it, but uh, T-I-N-T-E, cosmetics.com if you are looking for that. But it was just so fun. I loved it. All right, so that is, well, actually that's not on my list because I don't even know how to describe that, but there are other similar things on my list kind of along those lines. All right, so if this was over here, kind of going with my little list lifting, I could call it list lifting, I suppose, right? Um, I feel like maybe we would need, oh, about all about me, that works for this little frame, and then I could put little white cardstock in there, and I don't know, or something, I don't know, we'll put something in there. Um, yeah, I think, I don't really think that kind of this part is going to work kind of like I want it to over here. So if I'm back again, I'm kind of looking at this list that we had done. Um, I don't really kind of have all the pieces that would make that work. So I think I like this idea over here. And I think I need to put white cardstock there. I think, I think, I think. So let's grab our white cardstock as we are figuring this out. So um, now that we've talked about which generation you are, what, um, what, oh, that, that is, where did that come from? I don't know. Um, what, <laughs> that's weird. Is that right? Oh no, it's right. Um, what, <laughs> what was it like growing up in your generation? So what do you remember? Like what to you, different things that define your generation? And and really, and here's the thing, I don't mean like, you know, let's say you were the maybe baby boomer, right? Maybe you're thinking like Woodstock or maybe for me, the things that wouldn't be on my list, things that might be like protests or something like that. So my things are like, um, like lip smackers. And um, a couple of you guys have met, met, mentioned those Bonnie Bell lip, lip smackers. Um, MTV, right? MTV. Uh, going to, um, going to Blockbuster. If you wanted to rent a video, you had to go to Blockbuster. So Blockbuster was kind of part of that for me too. So those are the types of things that will be on my list. Okay. Okay. All right. This guy needs to be <laughs> uh, four. Yeah. Uh, that's what they always end up being. That always ends up being a four by seven. All right, now, maybe we might, we might, this was just on the floor. We might make use of that too. Gosh darn it. Okay, this needs to be four and three quarters. All right, so there we go. Starting, starting, starting. What if, let's get this out of the way. We're gonna do it off the page again. What if we did this? What if this ended up maybe being over here? And then this was here. You just get, oh, oop, that, that doesn't work. Did we see why that doesn't work? It was upside down in comparison to uh, what I had over here. So if we do that maybe, maybe, I don't know. I think it's gonna be better that way. Oh. We're back to the, oh, I really wish I had some mint. I wish I had some mint. Maybe we don't do that. Maybe our little TV is over here. We'll have something 
here. We'll have something there. And then what if we've got one of these little labels? Um, I talked about this a little bit last week. This is a really funny thing that happens to me because I've been designing so much the last two weeks with the four new project kits. Um, what happens is I talk to myself. Um, obviously I have to talk to myself. We'll talk to you guys when I'm doing this, right? Um, I have to talk when I'm doing this. Otherwise it'd just be weird because it'd just be all quiet. But I now do this. If I was designing a project kit and nobody was here, I'd still be doing this. Oh yeah, this could go right here. Oh no, yeah, I don't like that there. This could go over, no, it doesn't work. I'd still be talking to myself even though no one was here, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of funny. So maybe this is kind of happening a little bit, right? This does not work there at all. Um, I think that's kind of happening. I think that's okay. So over here, oh, we better round our corners here before we forget. Um, let's see. Karen said, Debbie said roller skating was my life, right? Uh, music in the 80s, great, yes, absolutely, which which now the kids call the oldies. That's scary. Um, our generate, my generation, Gen X, um, the current generation, they call that now the oldies. That's oldies music. Um, Sharon said stores and restaurants weren't open on Sunday. Now, Debbie, Debbie's generation, uh, best music generation ever, disco generation, love that. Karen said MTV, uh, cable TV, microwave skating, sleeping with the windows open downstairs, Rubik's Cubes, Sarah Foss said Grease, Star Wars, um, Saturday morning cup afternoon cartoons, um, bell bottoms, Olivia Newton John and John Travolta playing outside late into the night during summer vacation. Leg warmers, yes, leg warmers for sure, right? All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of the same thing here. Uh, where I'm going to ink the edges, but I'm going to ink the edges because we know there's no mint. We know there's not a mint. Um, maybe we're going with this kind of there, salvaged patina. Let's see if that works. It's probably the closest that we're going to get. Uh, where is it? Is it in my blue, green, where? There we go. That's, uh. Well, that didn't sound too great, did it? It didn't, does it? It's just not right. I mean, it's probably fine, but it's just not right. It's, I think it's going to have to be what it is. Salvage patina is going to be it. Do I maybe need to change this out for that? I think we're going to change it out for that. And then I still have to put something in there, so I'll figure that out later. I mean, while we're working. Okay, salvage patina. Let's grab the blue one. And this little guy, Feathered Bangs, yes, right? Aquanet, yep, Aquanet, Aquanet on my list as well. Uh, you know what, I do need to add Lake Warmers to my list because um, I did not have that on there and that was definitely a generation Gen X definer for me, right? A Gen X definer for me, Lake Warmers. Lake Warmers, Lake Warmers. Um, I have a really long list of things, really long, that I could probably do pages and pages. All right, let's get out salvaged patina. Hmm. Right? Are we still good with that? Or, I think it's good. I think it's good. Oh, yeah. All right, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Hot rollers, eight track, eight tracks, yes. Eight tracks, like younger for me. Um, like my parents used to have a van, right? A van that was you know, that had the little circle bubble window in the side of it, you know. Um, uh, yes, had an eight track tape player. I'm like, what am I saying? All right, is that gonna work? Yeesh, it's just not right. Okay, um, no, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, nobody has time for waffling on this color. We're going. Sun in, oh my goodness, Sarah, Sharon. Not Sarah. Sharon, yes. That is for sure has to go on my list. For, for me, sun in, that was the stuff that you'd spray on your hair before you'd go outside um, and lay on a sheet of tin foil and put uh, butter all over your body to try to get a golden tan, right? And then you'd just fry. But the sun in um, was supposed to kind of bleach your hair, right? Because it had, well, I think it's supposed to have lemons in it, but I think it was all chemical. But yes, spraying sun in on your hair. 
and you were trying to go for that, you know, beautiful tan, blonde, Southern California look, and you'd end up with splotches in your hair and be like red as a beet from your sunburn. <laughs> well, here's the other issue because, um, well, um, fourth grade on, I grew up in Park City, Utah, and um, elevation is pretty high up there. Um, I want to say six, six or 7,000. I don't know. Someone will correct me. If Nick was here, he would correct me. Six or 7,000 feet above sea level. Okay, so pretty high, uh, which means you are a lot closer to the sun than if you're at sea level. Um, so you can get burned quicker when you are higher elevation. So they say. Anyhow, so you just have sunburn all the time. You'd think you were going to go, you know, to the school dance looking all hot in your <laughs> blonde and tan and you would not work out quite that way. <laughs> right? Right. Um, yeah, best way to make your hairdresser cringe. I, I got to write that down though. Sun in. Sun in. That was the best. Leg warmers. Sun in. This is going to, there's going to be so many. Baby oil mixed with iodine on your body and sun in your hair. We were so cool, right? We thought we were so cool. Baby oil and laid on foil blankets to suntan, right? Right, right, right. Or lemon when you didn't have enough money, right? And your parents would be like, what happened to all of our lemons? Uh, Benetton. Yes, Benetton and Esprit, right? Benetton and Esprit. Yes. Um, orange hair after trying hydrogen peroxide and sun. Yeah, right. Yellow Sony Walkman getting perms. Yes. Oh my goodness. We're all just like take a walk down memory lane, right? Take, ooh, ooh. Take a walk down memory lane. Okay. Anytime I ink, I try to always do a quick hand check to make sure I don't have ink on my hands because, you know, transfer. All right. So, um, before we get too much further, I would like to pick something for my title, Alpha Sticker. That's what I'm going with, Alpha Sticker. And I'm going to use Letter Scramble. Oopsie, again this week. Letter Scramble. Uh, so Letter Scramble loves Baby Soft. Terry loves Baby Soft perfume is on my list. I know, right? Love it. Uh, all right, I'm going to use Letter Scramble again. Um, I used Letter Scramble on one of my lists last week. These are 12 by 12 sticker sheets and cardstock stickers from Bella Boulevard. I have all 16 colors and I they also, I also offer them in a bundle. Ooh. Okay, let's just see. I mean, when you buy the bundle, then you get, uh, I think, t I don't know, remember, 10 or 15% off. That's just priced that way. Um... Just flipping through all those colors to see what we like. All right, well, this would be a very much a statement. Should we do it? I think we should just do it. Let's do it. So growing up and then Gen X. So I need to get Gen X. And I think, ooh, I know, let's use these big tall ones. So what I'm going to do, I am going to take my little tweezers just because I think it's easier to place. I am, since I have no lines here, I'm going to use my little metal ruler to line up my stickers so they are straight. That's one of the reasons I'm going to use that little metal ruler. The other will be evident shortly. I'm just using that little line. There's a little horizontal line that runs the length there. Um, Getting those out, Gen X, Gen X. I can't, I think right now, I think the one right now is Gen A. I think it's called Gen A. Um, I guess Gen X, Gen Y is Gen Z, and then I guess they had to start over again. Okay, well, that little guy is obviously supposed to be like that. I don't think it's upside down. And good thing, there's only one X on this in this little font. Okay, so Gen X. Uh, first reason I use the ruler is so everything's straight. Second reason I use the ruler, ooh, you know what, let's get this down. Second reason I use the ruler is so that I can place my title, center it. It's movable, it's completely movable. So do I wanna be left, right justified, left justified? Do I want it to go vertically? Ver vertically? Do I wanna go vertically? Do I want it to go vertically? 
maybe I just like for it to be centered. So I know I need to write growing up on top of it, right? So if I, that probably is pretty good, right? I think that's pretty good. That looks pretty centered left to right. Now all I do is press down on the tops of those stickers and then gently roll that ruler right out from underneath. And so there we go, growing up Gen X. Now, I don't know, is technically, should it have a little dash in between it? Does anyone know if it would be like Gen dash X? Because if so, there's a little dash. I just don't know if that goes there or not. Huh, Melissa and her cat's adventures, hello. She still has all of the Partridge Family records and DVD of All Seasons Partridge Family. Love it. Is it like that? Is it supposed to be Gen X like that? It seems like it. So I can leave that there, and if it doesn't, then I'll just take it off later. Oh, should we talk about posters? Uh, Sean Cassidy. Sean Cassidy. Oh, my goodness. Sean Cassidy. Leif Garrett. Some of you heard, have heard me tell the story of how I was in a movie with Leif Garrett as an extra when I was in seventh grade in Park City. Leif Garrett, do not Google him now. Uh, he did not really age well. Sean Cassidy, oh, just sort of like take a walk to stroll down memory. No dash, thank you, Deborah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I didn't let it, uh, I didn't really let it stick. So we're good. All right. Deb, right, you're Gen X, yeah? I think so, yeah. Um, hi there, Lael, it's me, Sherry. Okay, so Sherry, I don't know which Sherry, but hi. Hi, Melissa and her cat's adventure, Sherry. Heather, which one was your crush? Which one? Oh, Parker Stevenson, right? The Hardy Boys, remember? Parker Stevenson and Sean Cassidy together on TV. Oh, I love Sean Cassidy. Oh, he made me happy. He, I was a happy eighth grader or seventh grader. Or I don't know, whatever I was then. I'm Scott Bayo. <laughs> Crafty said, poor Leaf. Yeah, you know. Oh, and then you know what else? Things like Journey and Foreigner. Oh, those remind me of growing up Gen X too. And of course, as part of that was... Um, you know, making mixtapes and then sitting next to the radio all day waiting for the song to come on and you had your little ghetto blaster. Um, that's that's not very appropriate. Um, that's not politically correct. That's what they were called back then. Um, but your, um, your, your music player machine, I don't know what else you call them. Um, and then you'd sit there waiting, waiting, waiting. Like you had your fingers, the tape was in and you had your fingers one on play and one on record. You were ready and you went... And you, as soon as the song came on, and you were mad when the DJ was sit, talking over the beginning of the song. All right. So, I don't know. This is going to be interesting because if I'm writing over here, now I have all of this until over here and now I've got to deal with, right? So where were my pieces that I was going to use to deal? Where were they? All right, let's get these out of the way again. Pouches. Uh, pouches. Uh, you guys, holy cow, with the new 13 by 13 pouches. Uh, I had to reorder from the factory in China. Uh, they are on the way. I still have, I don't know, um, they're still on the website, but not very many. So I had to reorder, and this time I reordered um, my original order plus half as many again. The, those pouches are, I love that you guys are loving them. They've been a lot of fun. They're very handy, I think. All right. So are we good here? But if we are good there, then what's gonna go in that little TV square? Something else needs to go there, I think, or maybe not. Maybe that just goes like that. Right, I think it'll work. Now I need my little tape again. I already put my tape away, but I need my little repositionable tape again. So this probably is gonna last me for the rest of my lifetime because I just keep um, using the same pieces again. Now we've heard a lot of Gen Xers talk about what um, growing up Gen X. So what about growing up baby boomer? Um, Wanda loved Barry Gibb. Wanda, baby boomer? Boombox, thank you, there we go, boombox. Boombox sounds much nicer than this, but you know what, I mean, that's right or wrong, that's just what they were called back then. I know, 
not very politically correct. Boombox sounds way better. All right, we're doing our little outlining here. Uh, and we need to do our little outlining here too. So I think originally I was thinking that this would be a one page list. Um, I don't know, or two. There's just a lot of things. So I think it, well, I don't know. I'll probably run out of room because I don't think I'll start them over here. Uh, this little guy we were thinking maybe. Well, I don't know here. I suppose I could just write a little and then just start my list. Maybe that's what I do. Maybe we just kind of do that. But now I feel like if we do that over here and then I just do a little bit of explanation there, maybe, and then start listing all the way into here, then I need another balance of, oh, here we go, visual triangle. I probably, maybe we'll put flower up here. So then we've got our visual triangle going. We know we have lots of flowers because there are even the flower bits in this collection. The flower bits where you have lots of, I had pulled out a little, there's a, oh, here's a, ooh, too big. Okay, so we need something in between. That's way too big, scale, we have a scale issue, right? Big, big, big. So we don't want that. Let's, ooh, maybe we look in here, sticker book. Ah, okay, we have a whole sheet of flower stickers in the sticker book. So, I think, there we go, one of these will work. Mmm, I am thinking maybe, I know I want one that has uh, these little, like the black and white leaves, I really like those. So maybe, what if, maybe this guy right here, let's see how this might look in the corner. Mmm, now I don't like that. I do not like that green eggs and ham because I have Flower, flower, and then nothing. And then I think it will look odd if I try to jam another flower in here. I think it will just look weird. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe if we do this little guy. Because we know we, that one's too weird. What if this little guy goes in here, maybe? I think that will work. On my little lip thing it goes. Um, let's just real quick see what else we have that might work. Ah, now this could be kind of fun. This little, oh my goodness, look it. Here's our little, that could be kind of our boom box, right? Here's our little boom box. Here's a telephone, like in the olden days where you had to rotary dial. And let's see, there's a roller skate. I'm trying to cluster here. Um, this could maybe, oh, but maybe we need to be up here. I think we're just going to make it happen. I'm just going to put it down. We're gonna make it happen. We'll just make it work. Okay, so we don't want this guy anymore. We're pulling in icons like that look like they're from the 80s. All right, so now we had, where did that go? My little, oh, icons, we're back at the beginning. Okay, so let's look. So roller skating, oh my gosh, scrunchies, right? A pay phone, but we already have a phone, so we don't want a pay phone. Uh, maybe the roller skate goes there, yeah? The scrunchie, that's funny. I never noticed the scrunchie before. Oh, okay, too big, doesn't really work. Doesn't work. This is not really working for me. I think that is not really working. And this is going to be rather large. Yeah, okay. Um, I need to, okay, hang on, roller skate. I think I'm going to try something here. Um, we're not vintage, not antique, we're retro, retro. Yeah, are we retro, Anna? Pogo sticks, oh my goodness, pogo sticks. Um, I could cover up the flowers. Yes, I could. I could try to do that, right? Maybe. All right, let's try a couple things here. What if this comes over here? So it just kind of helps bring in a little bit of color and it connects those two together. 
that may help. And then what if, do we suppose I could get under these and maybe try to fix that? I don't know. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Let's see. It's coming. All right, our boom box is now off. And there we go. We we're getting the telephone off as well. Okay, there we go. So we're good. We're good. Now, oh, I didn't um, put it adhesive down here. So let me get that down there. Oh, goodness, Leo. This is what happens when you, uh, even when this is your job, it's your business, it's your every day you create, sometimes things just don't uh, really work, huh? So it's not just you. If you can't get your adhesive on straight and you make a mess, it just, it happens, right? I was gonna say it happens to the best of us, but then that implies that I'm the best and I am certainly not. It happens to all of us. It happens to everyone. Okay, there we go. All right, so now what if, we're back to this. If this guy, I don't know, this part just seems really forced here. But I do think that if we kind of try to go this route, we might be able to fix it. No, it looks like I just wanted to use that clipboard and it's just weird there. Um, so what else might go there? Let's look at what other, oh my goodness, look at, there's a freaking VHS tape. This little guy, somehow we'll, we'll get him involved over here. Our roller skate, can we make our roller skate work again? Can we see that that's a roller skate? What if the wheels, what if one wheel's under, one wheel's over? Like that? Oh heck, it's just gonna work. We're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with it. We're gonna make it work. Um, Footsies. Anna, I don't remember footsies. What are footsies? I don't know. Teen Beat Magazine clackers, prank phone calls. <gasps> prank phone calls, yes. Um, hello? Do you have Prince Albert in a can? <laughs> like you'd call a little grocery store. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Why, yes, we do. Well, you better let him out. <laughs> uh, excuse me, is your refrigerator running? Uh, it is. Well, you better go run catch it. Remember all those, the prank phone calls? Oh my goodness. Yeah, those were, those were like telemarketing calls early days, right? I don't know. We were, I guess, I don't know. I guess if you're a kid and you're doing stuff like that back then, you were staying out of trouble, although that was trouble. Oh, you know what else? Toilet papering houses, yeah, when you, on a Friday night, and I lived, Park City was a small town back then, and so but sometimes it seemed like there were not a lot, a lot, of, not a lot, a lot, of, not a lot of things to do, and so you would, you know, I guess the good clean kind of trouble, toilet papering, that's what we called it, we're going toilet papering, we never did egg, just toilet papering, um, Clackers. I don't know what a clack. Do you sell? Karen, do you sell? Is this the Walls residence? If no, you'd better get out before your house falls down. Oh my goodness, right? Um, Christine said, Boomers introduced the original bell bottoms and crop tops. Oh, clackers. I remember those ball things and they'd go like this and they could like smash your fingers. A ring with a string attached that you would put your foot through. <gasps> yeah. And that you would um like walk on and they'd make you like tall right and you'd walk oh my goodness yes oh wow mood rings pet rocks pet rocks Wanda said pet rocks oh my goodness mood rings cost green finger <laughs> right penny candy clogs oh my gosh so fun so fun it's fun to walk down memory lane right now if you wanted so um two of the three folk two of the three lists that we're doing today do not have photos the last one will have photos but this, even though I didn't do any photos with my list, you could totally do photos with this. You just go to Google, or I don't know, maybe you have, you know, you probably have a picture of yourself if you're baby boomer, or excuse me, Gen X, if your hair ratted, um, you know, with a comb and then um, with all the Aquanet on it. Um, or you could just, you know, grab photos from the internet of some of the things that we're talking about that would kind of help to define your generation, right? All right, so... So, 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 now we need something up here because we have this, there's a lot, 
it's a lot. It's a lot. It, it is what it is. Um, these guys I need to pull off because I need to add my adhesive. And then we need something else up in that corner because uh, we need to have a visual triangle. It looks very imbalanced right now. And we will fix it. We need to add something in this upper corner to kind of balance it out because it looks really bottom heavy now, right? Because of that and that. All right, and then we just pull off our little repositionable tape, like so, and like so. Okay, so what are we putting up here? Okay. Let's look, what other icons? Uh, well, I guess this could probably work. If we go to here, um, a film and a camera, right? I mean, that for sure for me, right? Really what reminds me of the little film canisters, right? So what if we end up with maybe a little film and a camera? I don't know. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. We just need to make it work. We need to make it work. There we go. All right, well, that's the start. There's the start of our list. Um, okay, I think we are going to add our date here. Like that. And this would be April 2024. All right, so let's start our list over here. Or over here, um, Actually, I don't need to put growing up up here. I could just say um, growing up Gen X. These are some of the things that um, I'm just going to say it to find my generation. It's just my definition, right? It's my definition. It's the way I'm defining my generation. All right, so now I think we are going to, I need some kind of a bullet. And let's try to, so this is the issue with the bullet. Um, the bullet will be on color in some part, and then here it will be in black and white, or black. Um, well, no, I don't want, okay, let me try that again. My bullet will be of a colored background here, and my bullet will have a white background here. I don't necessarily want to use a black bullet because it will be hard to see um, between my writing because my writing is black. But then I also need to keep in mind over here that it will look a little bit different than here because different, right? All right, so what do we want to do for that? What do we want to do for that? Maybe we go to salvage patina. I don't know, that might be a lot. It might be a lot, it might be a hot mess. Um, let's look at bullets again. Hang on. Bullet stamps. Bullets and more. Two, three, and original. Okay, what if um, there is a little, I thought in here there was a little, there is, oh, look at this. Okay. There's a little TV and the little TV looks very similar. There's a little TV. It looks very similar to kind of that TV. So what if we do the TV and what if we do? Oops, I almost lost my TV. What if we do brown? So brown could work. Um, what I was thinking was maybe, let's get that little TV on so it is lined up. I was thinking maybe this guy again. Let's see. So interesting. Uh, that was that list that was kind of my uh, jumping off point, but it's totally different, right? It's totally different than what we ended up with. 
Um, let's look. Let's look at this. It might be too weird. Whoops. There we go. There are my little TVs. So I know my TVs would be okay over here. Yeah, you know what? I think it's just too much. It's too, um, it's just too, it's just trying to be too kitschy. And I think we're trying to, I'm trying to be too cute with it. I think what I'm going to do is just use a regular old plain bullet stamp, like a little circle is what I'm going to do. So there's a lot going on on this spread already. So we're going to keep it simple. Kiss. What's that little snowflake? Let me fix him. Boy. Yep, here's the reason why you put your little stamps away because look it, I have some, no, didn't put my little tree away or my little flower away. I mean, the flower may have been last week where he just escaped and then I never could find him. All right, um, the bullet. Okay, here we go. Here's my little circle. I get like going and then lose things because there's so much on my table. All right, let's try this guy instead. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like that a little bit better. Just, oh, you know what this reminds me of? Um, if you, so I have two amazingly talented ladies on my design team. Lorelai Murphy and Stephanie Bice. Um, Lorelai, earlier this month, did a really cool um, currently list, uh, and she created her own background by using that in two different colors, and that was kind of her background, which was really fun. Okay, um, I think we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna start up here. We're just going to start writing. All right, on my list, in no particular order, necklace candy, oh my goodness. Um, Cat's Cradle. Uh, hi, Nancy from Ottawa. Uh, penny candy that cost a penny, right? Hand, say, say, oh, playmate, come out and play with, I can't do it by myself, right? And bring your dollies three, climb up my apple tree, slide down my rain barrel, how we used to do it, into my cellar door, and we'll be jolly friends forever. More, 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 yes! Oh my gosh, that's funny, those hand games, yes! Say, say, oh, playmate, that is scary. I could just recite that entire thing. That is why when I go downstairs to get something, when I get to the bottom of the stairs, I can't remember what I was going to get because Say Say Old Playmate is stuck in my head instead of uh, useful things like what I need to do. All right, um, golly, my list is long. Um, all right, so um, renting. Movies from Blockbuster and getting fined if you didn't rewind. Remember that? Be kind. They had a whole marketing campaign about that. Be kind and rewind. Remember, they had a, like a whole television commercial about that. Be kind and rewind. Um, all right, I gotta kind of cross these out. So, um, mm, um, calling the movie theater for movie times. Remember that? You had to call the movie theater and it was recording and you'd like miss part of it then you'd hang up and call again or the newspaper, but here's the thing, newspaper. Newspaper goes back to, for me, um, I, you know, I remember like at our, our last house. So probably, you know, within the last 23 years, somewhere in the last 23 years of actually going to the newspaper to see when the movie started, right? Um, the TV guide. Did you have the TV guide? And that's how you'd look. You'd scroll through the T scroll. You'd scroll through the TV. You'd scroll through the TV guide, the pages, to figure out what was like what time. Well, you never needed to go to the TV guide to see what time the love boat started because that was always on Saturday night. You always knew when the love boat started. Um, it's funny. Um, love boat and Fantasy Island. Watching. 
the love boat and fantasy island on saturday nights another one for me was tv dinners tv dinners because on saturday nights my mom and dad would um, go out on a date and they we'd have a babysitter and we'd have tv dinner and then we'd watch uh, Love Boat and Fantasy Island, and Fantasy Island would always scare me because it always started out great, but then always something very nefarious would happen. And, you know, when you're like nine and things are happening on an island that are scary, you're like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yes, the Love Boat makes us all want to sing, doesn't it? Uh, April, I haven't seen that. April said on the Seinfeld episode about the TV Guide, I haven't seen that. Buying books from a little catalog. Yes, I remember that. Um 111, Renee said, this may be my first list ever. I am laughing, remembering all this important stuff. And you know what? I'm glad that you said that, Renee, uh, because for me, that's why I do this. Well, number one, it's just fun. And, you know, it's like taking a walk down memory lane. But things like this, um, if we don't write them down, if we don't write these things down about what we remember about growing up, um, they're going to be gone. They're going to be lost, right? So that's why I do this because, you know, it's, it's, I'm like history keeping. I don't know. That didn't sound right. <laughs> I'm, anyhow, I'm writing th these things down because this is very much a big part of me. <gasps> American Bandstand and Dick Clark. Totally. Um, you know what's going to happen here? American Bandstand and Dick Clark. Um, what's going to happen is, I will tell you right now, I am not going to have enough room. I am not going to have enough room for, ooh, okay. Well, we're just going to put that guy right there to fill it in, and then I'll write something down here. Um, calling the TV guide, what's next week? Encyclopedias, okay? Encyclopedias. Uh, that you had to, I mean, there was no internet. You couldn't like, if you had to write a book report, you had to ask your mom to take you to the library. You had to walk to the library to get an encyclopedia because that's where you had to get the information, right? April said Western's on Sunday morning. The, that the, uh, doesn't ring a bell, April. April, but it, that, yeah, right. That defines for you, your generation. Yes, waiting to press record for sure. Miami Vice, long twirly phone cords that were like 80 feet long because you stretched them out. It is like a four-page list. Avon, Milkman Deliveries as well as Hostess Trucks, Mixtapes, yep, Mixtapes is one of mine, MTV, um, Tip, oh, and perfect. I'm like, tip in, you could. You could totally add a tip in to add more things. That's a good idea. Um, card catalogs, card catalog at the library. Whoa, whoopsie, card catalog at the library. And the Dewey Decimal System. Right? The Dewey Decimal System. That were those, oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time writing for some reason. The Dewey Decimal System. That's how you had to figure out where the books were in the card catalog. Um, all right, um, mixtapes, yes. Cassette and mixtapes. Um, mixtapes. I loved making mixtapes. And then, I won't write it down, but the thing that often happened with a mixtape is you'd have it in your little tape player, and then it would eat it, and then you'd have to pull it out, and then you'd have to use your pencil to wind it back. You have to put it through one of the two little holes, and you had to, like, wind it back to pull all the tape back in, right? Um, a phone book, right? The phone book. And if you needed to find a phone number of your friend, uh, you'd go look her up in the phone book. Um, rotary dial phone, for sure. Rotary dial phone. And later, um, a wall phone, right? That's when we knew we were advanced. We have a wall phone with a really long spiral? I don't know, spiral cord. 
And that's how your parent, that's like how my mom would find me because she'd have to follow the cord to figure out where I was. Cause you'd be like in a closet somewhere trying to talk with your friend about the boy you had a crush on. <laughs> um, ditto machines. Yes. And the mi mimeograph phone, no mimeo, that big drum that they would like roll. Is that a ditto machine? Um, Thomas guides. So Sarah, Southern California, right? Thomas guides, the big giant maps. The Justetner Mimeograph, our church had one, so the smell of the purple ink, yes, yes. Um, requesting songs on the radio, right? Um, phones in kids' bedrooms, they didn't get one, right? But you could have a really long one that you could pull the cord on, right? Um, the Love Boat, I already got the Love Boat in Fantasy, oh, did I? Yep, I got Love Boat in Fantasy Island. Um, oh, how about this? Calling to get the time and temperature. Calling to get the time and temperature. Isn't that crazy to think about? Or remember, like you could call information. Like you could call and a live person would answer when you'd call information, right? I think that was when you, I don't even know. How did you, how did you call information? Because now I'm confused. Because like on a self, I don't know. I, calling for information, right? Um... MTV. You know what else I remember? Call waiting. Remember call waiting when call waiting first came out? And um, like if my sister would be on the phone and you know the call waiting would come through and then she wouldn't, like I knew it was my friend calling, but she wouldn't let me, you know, whatever, call waiting. Yep. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, how about this one? The BMG Music Club where you could sign up to get like 4,012 um, tapes and then CDs for a penny. I mean, not that many, right? But you could get like 13 tapes or CDs for a penny. And then you just had to agree to buy so many more over the course of the whatever it was. The BMG Music Club. I did that. Loves Baby Soft. Perfume. Loved that. Loves Baby Soft. Smelled like a baby, like a powder, right? Yep, and then it was later Columbia House. Yep, yep. Uh, Sarah said, this is what I love about our session. So much fun just chatting and laughing about memories, right? Yes, yes, yes. I, that's what I, I love it too. I love it, just so much fun. Um, having a big console TV. Console TV. So it was like that giant piece of furniture uh, that you had to get up to change the channel. And then when you really progressed, you had a little remote control that was like a block and it had four buttons on it. And one was, I think you even had to get up to turn on the TV and then the remote control had four buttons, one, four little clickers. One was channel up, the other one was channel down, one was volume up and one was volume down. It wouldn't even like turn on, you had to get up to turn it on. Oh, the good old days, right? Um, solid gold. Solid gold and the solid gold dancers and Dion Warwick. Remember that? Solid gold. Um, okay, loves baby soft. How about this? Casey Kasem. Remember Casey Kasem? Uh, and the long distance dedications. I liked his voice, Casey. Casey Kasem. The Radio Shack. Um, there are really not too many of those, if any, around anymore. But the Radio Shack, that was, like, if you needed a new boombox, you'd go to the Radio Shack. The Love Connection with Chuck Woolery. Uh, Woolery. That's probably how you spell it. That's probably close. Yep, kids had to get up to change the channels. One of three channels. The Carol Burnett Show. Yes, I loved the Carol Burnett Show when she, when she tug her ear. Mary Tran said our console never got stolen. <laughs> right? If somebody could come in and steal your, steal your TV, but not your console back then because the consoles were so darn big. Um, that right? Crazy. I got it, Colleen. Thank you. Twelve thirty-four. Candid camera. Yes. Oh, and you know what? I loved Mary, the pyramid, um, um, the $25,000 pyramid. I got to add that because I loved that. Loved game shows. I still love game shows. 
And card sharks? Yes. And then you're like, ooh, you need to hit on that one. Or yeah, card sharks, love that. And the ladies, like the, the you know, they had the, the host and the ladies. Remember the host microwave? <laughs> the microwave? The host microphone was like this long. I mean, it was like 18 inches long and it had the little thing on it. He this, it was a little skinny thing, <laughs> but his long microphone that he'd walk around with. And those ladies, would have the giant cards that they'd be turning, Hollywood Squares, Pinko, the dating game. Hi, Gracie. Um, hockey night in Canada, and no one went for the same team. Yep, uh, definitely, Nancy, not, not something that happened here. <laughs> Although, Utah, uh, this week, just um, is getting an NHL hockey team. I think the one from Arizona. I don't know how that works, but um, love connect connection, Atari. Yes, I've told this story before. Um, on the Atari, um, like a brick breaker or something like that, but it wasn't called brick breaker. I don't remember what it was called. I was in, when I was like, mm, I was probably 12, I was in a video game magazine because I got to the last level and had like a million points on this video game, like on the Atari. And then I had to take a picture, you take, take a photo like with the camera and have it developed and then um, send it to the company. And I was in a little video game, a, a video game magazine because um, I did that. I probably sat in front of that console TV for like days, right? Pac-Man, um, Aquanet, Aquanet hairspray, and claw bangs, because you'd wrap those puppies so high and then spray them with the Aquanet, so that was never coming down. Um, oh, Smurfs, the Smurfs. I love Smurfs, the little blue guys, right? Smurfs. All right, any of these ringing a bell for you guys? I mean, some of them you're giving me. Benetton, one in or two, I think one. Benetton and Esprit, those clothing brands. So we did, um, a, Oh, in the last five years, four years in our listing, we've done a high school fashion list um, that was fun because I think I had Benetton and Esprit on there. Um, leg warmers. Uh, sun in. Now I'm adding the ones that you guys were like, and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that and loved that. Sun in, um, Leif Garrett. Sean Cassidy. Ooh, I don't remember. I think it was Sean that way. I think it was Sean, not S-E-A-N. I think. Sean Cassidy. <gasps> How about this one? Schoolhouse Rock. Schoolhouse Rock. And like conjunction, junction, what's your function? Like that's how you learn grammar. We watch TV to learn grammar. <laughs> Schoolhouse Rock. Um... <gasps> Do you remember the after school specials? And I think that's what they were called, the after school specials. And it was always some kind of like drama that involved a child or something, but the after school specials. Acrylic clipboards before backpacks. Don't remember that one. Fat Albert. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Wanda said this list could be a book. It totally could. 579 Contempo. Um, was another store. Um, lip Smackers. I don't think I put Lip Smackers on here yet. Did I? Uh, let us baby stop. Nope. Lip Smackers. Which you can still find, right? Like even at the regular grocery store. Those are totally still around. Lip Smackers. Um, the Brat Pack. So the Brat Pack. That would have been, um, so they were kind of named after the Rat Pack. The Rat Pack originally was um, like, um, Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. and Dean Martin. So those that was the Rat Pack. And then the Brat Pack was um, Andrew McCarthy and Rob Lowe and, um, oh my gosh, James Spader, um, uh, bah, 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 bah. Molly Ringwald, like that whole group, right? Um, okay. Shows we wished would come back. Jesse, that is a great list topic. Okay, let me just really quick go to our list of lists. Um, shows 
wish come back. Jesse Brown. All right. Um, okay. So now, um, I, let's see. I think I am. Uh, oh, yeah. I got leg warmer summon, sun in. Um, going toilet papering on a Friday night. All right, so I have some more room. I need to, um, I'm going to need to finish this, but I need some more things. Um, oh yeah, Jacques Cousteau, or the wonderful, yes, um, um, Merlin Perkins, right? Merlin Perkins, Merlin. Marlon? Merlin. I don't remember. What is it? And he would, the Wild Kingdom. Yes, for sure. Wonderful World of Disney. Um, like on Sunday nights, right? Is that right? Was it on Sunday nights? I'm going to try something here because there's something that's bugging me. Um, remember originally, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I was going to move those stickers up, but I think even though I have Growing Up Gen X, I think I'm going to write that up here too because I've got too much space. Growing Up Gen X. So that helps a little bit, a little bit. All right. So I still have some things I need to add here. I will probably try to, oh, I know I got it. Um, this space here, guess what we need? What do I always say? If there's a hole and it looks like something's missing, what do we need? We need a word strip sticker. So I feel like, um, right in here, we need a little something right in there. So Let's look at small talk. Small talk is what I usually run to. Um, um, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Yes. The, the totally wide world of sports. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay. So what do we need here? We need something here. Um, um, Make a wish, make today count, be in love with your life. I mean, that could be in love with your life could work because this was like growing up Gen X, so I could make that work. Let's see. Um, obviously, way too wide. So what I would need to do, I would need to, what if we try to do something like this? Actually, now I'm thinking, well, I don't know. So it's not going to work here. It was looks really weird there, but that not those. So then what I was thinking is, what if, what if like that's on the TV? No. Oh, well, we're going to just put it in the TV. So I think what I need in there, I just need a little something right there. Maybe not all of there, but just right in that spot. So no word strip sticker. Um, what if we looked for a little sticker in here? A little sticker in here. What might work? Um, now what's interesting, what it can, okay, I might totally change what I just did because like, look at this so much fun, so much fun, so much fun. What if, what if so much fun goes there and then I keep doing my list here? I think that's all right. It's not great, but it's okay. All right. We still need something right in there. Something small. Small and bitty. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about this? Maybe this love this, but it might be too much because then we'd have a word strip and a word strip, so it might be too weird. Love this. Yeah, it doesn't really, unless this goes over here. Maybe we'll put this over here. All right, we still are looking for that spot. Um, I did. I've got them. Thank you, Colleen. We've got our little date right there for April 24. And I'm pretty, I think I did the last one. I'll have to check. But thank you. I appreciate that, um, that reminder. Totally. Because a lot of times I forget. What about this? Little heart here. There. That works. All right. So um, I'm going to stop because I need to do just a few more things, right? I need to add a few more things to my list, like really just maybe three or something. So, um, oh, now it's but, 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 but. Um, I'm going to figure them out. Mutual Oma, Marlon Perkins. There we go. I'm going to add that one because 
Then later I'll forget that I'll use salvage patina and I'll be like, shoot, what did I use? Ooh, now it's that totally changes color when it gets on there. Um, Mutual of Omaha. With Marlon Perkins. Um, I met and have a photo with, not him, um, but the, the guy that followed him, succeeded him with the super big bushy mustache that kind of looks like Tom Selleck. I have a photo of myself with him um, and a big yellow giant like snake, like this wide and miles long around my neck. Oh, the six million dollar man. Um, the bionic woman and the six million dollar man. The bionic woman and the six million dollar man. Okay, there we go. All done. Uh, it, it's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot going on this list. I don't think it was Jim. I don't know. Was it Jim Fowler? I don't know. Ms. L? Or I don't know. Now if we're talking about somebody else. Um, all right, it's very blank up here, and there's a lot here, and it needs something else in here, but you know what? I'm going to call it good for now. Oh, wait, my my tape, my videotape. <laughs> the videotape doesn't really work anywhere in here. Um, no, 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 but I wanted the videotape. Um, I really don't do things at an angle. Things look, it looks funny to me when things are at an angle, although that's at an angle. No, not the videotape, nothing happening. Marlon was, Jim, Jim, Jim Fowler, is it? He's the, but he's the guy I think that followed him. You guys know, he looks like Tom Selleck in like super bushy, like bushy mustache, like a lot. What if this figures out somewhere over here? Maybe, oh yeah, look at, here we go. I'll just add a little bit of color there. That, that works. That works. It's good. It's fine as I pick it up. It's fine. It's fine. It's time to move on. Yeah, don't. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. We're moving on. We are moving on. That was a fun one. Lots of reminiscing, huh? Lots of reminiscing. Uh, now, I think what would be kind of fun would be um, if you, we've talked about this a little bit. I'm going to talk about this while I put things away. It would be kind of fun, I think, if you could get your family's voice into your projects. So if you gave them a piece of paper and asked them to write down what defined their generation, in their opinion, um, and if you couldn't get them to do that, maybe you could just have a conversation with them and then you could be kind of writing down what they're saying. Um, if you have an older relative, that would be a really neat thing to do. So if we went to whatever the generation is before a baby boomer. You might have someone in your life that is that age that's still living. Um, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe not. That may be beyond. Anyhow, um, go to parents, go to grandparents, go to people that are older, go to people that are younger. I think it could be a really fun um, activity to do with them. If you can get them to write it down, great. If not, maybe even just record them, you know, give them questions. What are things that, what's food that reminds you of your generation? What, um, or television shows, or what were magazines, or what was, you know, things like that, and getting their kind of, getting their voice. In, um, you know, if it's not in a project, if it's on the list, at least you have that then, you know, then you know, you know, because, you know, you're like, I wonder what it was like back then, or what did, you know, um, pedal pushers, or, you know, back in the 50s, or any. All right, so, Let's clean this guy off and we're gonna get ready our, for our last list. Um, Jim and Peter Gross co-hosted after Marlon. I gotta go look at the guy's face. Um, Googling, Peter Gross, maybe Peter Gross. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, uh, my son and husband are listening and adding their items. It was fun, I need to write them down. Right, exactly, seriously, right? So this could even be a, you know, maybe Thanksgiving. Maybe you have a, bunch, a whole bunch of family and friends over and you know, everybody's kind of, in a turkey coma after, and you're like, hey, you know, when I grew up, when I was growing up, I totally remember MTV, and you know, um, back then you had to sit and watch all day for your favorite video to come on, right? And you could say, what, what, what do you remember about growing up? And then it just, you know, like today, like it did for us, it just 
sparks all kinds of fun conversations. Um, but I do want to do that with our boys because I think that would be a lot of fun. All righty. So, oh, I need to get that put into my, um, I need to get that put into my book. My inserts. All right. So, let's see here. Um, mm -hmm. Here we go, and I think what I'm going to do for the left page, I'll use my regular adhesive for the right page, but for the left page, the deeper I get in my adhesive, uh, deeper, deeper I get into my traveler's notebook, um, we start to get a little bit of a bend here. I don't know, we, we're probably okay on this one. But soon, uh, when I do this, I probably need to grab um, some double-sided tape that's a little bit stronger. Uh, and will help to hold that list like around paper, that paper around that curve. But we're okay there. All right, there we go. Growing up Gen X and uh, things I'm going to do for someone else next week. Our last list of the day is, um, oh, Terry, that's fun. She said, we do these conversations over whiskey at the cabin. This past summer did the this is me list with them. I love that. That is very fun. Um, all right. Our last list is another list that we do on a monthly basis. Uh, so the very beginning uh, of our session today, we talked about about last month. That's a list that we do on a monthly basis because we did that one last week, right? We did about last month. Um, we also do um, what a day where we're taking a particular day and just making a list of what we did that day. That's another kind of a repeat list. Uh, another repeat list that we do every month is what um, is called In the News. And with In the News, um, originally, when I first started doing um, my um, About Last Months, I had a combination of personal things in there and then also news-related things in there. And um, not, after one or two months, I'm like, I don't have enough to put both of those things in there. So I started separating them. So there's an About Last Month that has to do with me and my family, and then there's an in the news. So in the news, news related things. So before we get started on this, and I don't even remember the person that um, originally brought this up, but I was so thankful that she did. Um, she reached out and said, hey, Lael, I love the idea of doing an in the news list, but she said, I have to be honest with you. And she meant like on a Saturday, you know, when they're, we're all together. She said, but I have to be honest with you. I am a little concerned that it could get um, a little bit um, political in the chat. Not what I'm saying, but in the chat, you know, maybe I, you know, talk about um, Iris Ap Apfel. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Ap Apfel, Apfel, um, her passing away. And I'll talk about her in a minute. Um, and somebody might have something to say about her in the chat um, or the, um, the, large boat crashing into the Baltimore Bridge, um, or the Bridge in Baltimore. So some of these things could be a little bit um, controversial. And uh, I always take the perspective that for me, it's just the facts. I am giving no commentary whatsoever about anything in the news. I'm basically just saying these are the things on my list. Um, so I ask in the chat, if you're participating in the chat, that you know, zero commentary, just the facts. So you don't say whether or not you think um, Caitlyn, and her last name just totally escaped me. Um, I want to say Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, Caitlyn, um, my gosh, she's been, Caitlyn Clark. There we go. Um, that Caitlyn Clark is on my list because um, she um, broke the NBA all scoring, not NBA, Broke the college basketball all-time scoring record. NCAA, there we go. Um, so it has never happened in the group. Absolutely, Colleen, you're right. It has never had that happen in the group. But every time we do in the news, I always like to bring it up. Um, and um, it hadn't happened when that individual said, hey, I'm concerned that this might happen. Um, and it never has happened. So I appreciate that with you guys. Um, I just, what I talk about is just the facts, just the facts, um, no commentary about anything on the list. Um, if you want to have commentary about things, then you can do that with your family or friends or what have you. Um, even then you're like, yeah, I'm not doing that either because it gets a little heated. Um, the next thing that always comes up when I do in the news is where do you get all of your news things? Like how, how do you, 
Like, how do you end up with things that are on your list? Uh, there is a, in the face, Lail by Mail Facebook group, um, there is a post that is pinned to the top, uh, as well as every time that we do this list, um, on the blog, I link to this document. And it is a document I put together of probably 10 or 12 different news sources for you. And it's not like watch CNN, watch Fox News, watch um, Today Show. Um, they are places that you can go to sign up for free emails that they send you, like usually it's like a daily, five days a week, um, just kind of recap of the news for that day. So um, that is a purely suggestion, that list, but you can go into the Facebook group or to um, the blog post today for this one. Um, and I worked, um, it was very important to me that I had a very good cross section of new sources. So you have very left leaning, you have very right leaning, and you have some just the fact center. Um, so whatever, I don't subscribe to them all, doesn't matter which ones I subscribe to. Um, but if you're looking for new sources, then there are some ideas for you. I keep a list, a running list on my phone. Uh, and anytime that I see something or hear something, I'm like, oh, that needs to go on my list. And then when we sit down to actually do this list, I then move it into my little workbook. So there we go. That's the skinny on this list that we do once a month in the news. And it's kind of fun just to, um, you know, look back on because, again, I probably have, I, I don't know, I want to say close to three years worth of these um, lists. Now, I don't use a separate insert for these. I just, they just come where they fall, right? My list just comes where it happens to fall. I just um, had to trim a little bit off of um, the edges of that photo. Uh, that is a five by seven photo. And when I say photo, I mean like five by seven photo. Uh, there are four photos on that five by seven photo. I use the Epson Picture Mate PM 400 printer. Uh, for probably 95% of the photos that I print in my, um, that I use in my traveler's notebooks. That is one where it is not a 95%. Um, and I think this is, there's one that's printed with the Epson picture mate, but 95% um, of the photos that I print are with that printer. Um, there is a link to that printer in the description box of the video down below. Um, it will take you to Amazon, and I need to tell you that if you buy from there, then I get a little, you know, a little, 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 little thing. Um, but that's the printer that I've used probably for the last five or six years to print my photos. Um, I think the power of that printer, I gotta clean my glasses. I think the power of that printer, at least for me, uh, two things. Number one, it is incredible quality. Um, it prints three and a half by fives, four by sixes, and five by sevens. So for me, that means it's a portable printer. I will show you because um, I will be doing some work while Nick and I are out of town. Um, and so while he's working, I am um, after I printed my photo this morning, I have, it's not all packed up yet, but there's the printer. So I just put it in my little, you know, pouch like that with the little, um, with the little cord and it's portable. Um, but the other kind of power, that printer, is the app that goes with it. So the app is the Epson Creative Print app um, that is available both in the, um, uh, the Google Store, I don't know, whatever you call that, um, and the app, um, Apple App Store. The, the, you know what I mean. Um, the App Store. Whatever. <laughs> it, meaning that it's both supported on Apple and Android devices. Um, but that is how that, um, that app has pre-configured templates, okay? So a whole bunch of pre-configured templates that lets you do things like that, that lets you do um, things like uh, this one. Super easy, you just pick a template and then it accesses the camera roll on your film and then you decide the camera roll on your film, the camera roll on your phone, and then you decide which photos you wanna put in the spaces and then you print it off, all right? So that's what I've done here. Uh, I have to trim a little bit off of the left and right edges. This is five by seven. The size of our inserts is five by 8.25. Even though this is five and this is five, you lose a couple of millimeters from um, the stapling in the center, all right? So 
here we go. There is my list. Um, these are pretty much, uh, they pretty much always kind of for me, well, I don't know. They always have photos and then I'm usually using one of two different uh, stamp sets. I have two different in the news stamp sets. So the original in the news, it's not called the original, um, but in the news, uh, that's the, the, the first one, how about that? And then in the news two, because after a couple of years of using this one, I'm like, we need a little variety. So then this one, what I'm going to do, I am going to use this typewriter for my list and I am going to die cut that with that new metal die, okay? Uh, Lisa, the storage case. Um, so that is a large, um, well, little thing that I got on Amazon and it has, it's, it's more like a makeup case. So it, shoot me an email and I will send you the link to that. Um, but I'll also show you guys, I also found, I also found this about six months ago and this made me so happy. That is a dust cover. So it's a dust cover that is made for that printer. So just goes right over the top and then it is all nice and clean and undusty uh, when you're not using it. So um, if you shoot me, a, shoot me an email if you want the link to either that um, dust cover or the case that I use. And then I'll also start putting those in the description box of the video. So that'll just make it easier. Um, uh, Rose just asked a great question. Let me answer that one. Rose said, I got a question. How many lists can you fit into your signature? So signature, um, this is sometimes like if you're book binding, um, that's what Rose is referring to as like a signature, these pieces. Um, how many can you fit, including the yearly kit? I feel like mine, it'll not be able to close. I'll show you. It won't be able to close, but you fix that. Um, this is what I do. And I, I assume you're meaning your insert itself, right? Your insert, is that what you mean? Um, what happens when I'm done with an insert, it is super, super full, okay? Um, it's super full. So I take the original cover off. I create a new cover out of a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. I make it wider so my little pages don't stick out, and then I hand stitch it. So, um, <laughs> I love it. Terry said, we like them chunky here, Rose. So there's a video here on my YouTube channel that goes through this whole process on how I, um, larger piece of paper, how I size it, and then how I stitch it with wax coated thread. Um, 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 okay. All right, and I love that, Terry, you found a lunchbox, perfect, all right. So, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, what I think I'd like to do, and I wonder if, I think what might work here, let's go back to true colors for a minute. Um, Iris Apfel, she was a fashion icon um, and she passed away in March. She's very well known for her, um, like, well, look it, that's pretty, her fashion was um, pretty, pretty bright and, um, What's the word? Um, I need to think of the word. I'll think of the word, or one of you guys will tell me the word. Um, but pretty bright and, well, whatever the word is. Uh, I think I might like to pull in some color from uh, her outfit here. So that color maybe could work. I'm just going back to true colors because we have it out. Um, Sarah is talking about a documentary on her. I'll have to look for that. Yeah, I'll have to look for that. She's kind of a fascinating person. Um, okay, all right. So I'm gonna look through here because it's kind of bright, right? I might be able to use, pull in some bright colors from there. Mm -hmm. Because I really like this one, but... Although that could work. I think I'll go with that. But now I need a pink. 
And this pink, I'll, I'll show you why. I can't use that pink for what I wanna do. And I'll explain when I get there. Oh, look, maybe this works. That pink and green together could work. Since I'm kind of on that kick of it being super um, bright in our last one. Okay, let's do that, those two. All right, so what I'm going to do here is, oopsie, this will be the base of my list. I need to trim that to four and three quarters wide. Hopefully, flamboyant, thank you, Wanda. Eccentric, flamboyant, perfect, ladies. Eclectic, see, I'm quirky. I knew you guys would help me out. I'm like, what's the word for that? Um, Wanda, flamboyant, that's, that's, that's where I was headed. That's kind of that. Um, yeah, she was very flamboyant, but it, very much in a good way, Kelly. Yeah, absolutely, very much in a good way. You know how sometimes you see people with like a super, maybe really bright, colorful, crazy pattern dress or something, and you're like, oh my goodness, that is beautiful. That looks so good on, good on you. I could never pull that off, right? She could pull the things off. I mean, yeah, she definitely could. Definitely could. Um... April said, so we know you're a TN girl, TN meaning Traveler's Notebook. How many key TNs are in your everyday carry and then do you keep your creative ones at home? I guess you have an everyday carry TN with different inserts. Um, yeah, I have one that um, I'm always, always, always using and that's the one that has my calendar in it. That's the one that has um, like project plans in it. It has ideas in it. That's the one that would be like my everyday carry. Uh, and then I have so many more. So I have a couple of different travel ones. Um, I have some that I like to just put quotes in. Um, I have um, one that goes back, I think nine years from when I very first started listing with the Reset Girl that has my, it's like this big, that has my um, kind of first lists, I guess, in it. Um, I'm just looking at my shelf ahead, but, um, yeah, I have lots, lots and lots and lots, but that's my main one that I carry, uh, would be, um, the one that's like my calendar and planner and if you will. Good question. Good question. Um, she was unabashedly herself. That is a great, 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 um, way to describe her, uh, Sarah. Absolutely. All right. So what I'm going to do, um, this is going to be the background for my list. And this is going to be my typewriter, all right? So I'm going to stamp and die cut my typewriter out of this paper. Um, this one, I will not use, and I will show you why. I will actually use it, I'll do two, so we can kind of see, um, for me, why I would gravitate towards this one for my typewriter and not that one. Uh, I think sometimes what we forget um, when we're stamping and when we're die cutting is that we don't have to use white. We don't have to use um, a solid colored paper. We can totally use, uh, we can totally use, um, uh, oh, pattern paper. Duh. Sorry. We can totally use pattern paper, right? So, um, but you just sometimes have to think about what you are using, um, what the stamp is you're going to be stamping on. That sometimes can define the pattern paper that you use. I um, store all my stamps in my storage sleeve. So um, six by eights, five by sevens, four by six, and three by fours. I keep a piece of cardstock um, behind the stamp set. And this is why. Um, right now when I'm trying to pull that out, the plastic cover of the stamp itself sticks to the plastic. But if I take my little piece of cardstock, take it out of the back and put it into the front, then um, that kind of breaks that plastic sticking to plastic and then that pulls right out, all right? Um, so we're grabbing our typewriter. Huh, Marilee, my girls called right when the Gen, Gen X layout was being made. They were so excited to pitch in comments, but I love it when they're together. So I took the call. You know what? Absolutely, absolutely. I don't know, that's for me, if, if and it's probably more so Jack. Sam, I talk to usually every day, and sometimes it's multiple times a day. Hey, Mom, just wanted to let you know I'm going home. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, he doesn't live with us. He's not like I'm on my way, but he. Um, I'm like, oh, okay. Why are you going home so early? Well, I've got all my hours for the week, and there's, I don't really have anything enough to do, and he's very much a, a call person. But uh, Jack, our older son, definitely not. 
that is definitely not him. So anytime he calls, no matter what I'm doing, I will answer the phone. Okay, so I am stamping that, getting, or excuse me, not stamping it. I'm inking that up. I'm getting that all inked, and I am going to stamp here. So I'm apply nice, even pressure. I am standing up. So, well, I stand up the whole time. Um, the whole time that we're listing, I am standing, and I pretty much, that's how I design. That's how I pretty much spend all day, every day um, standing. When it comes to stamping, I really believe that um, you'll have a much better outcome if you are standing up versus sitting down. You have much more leverage uh, when you are standing and stamping. Your arms have much more, you have much more range of motion. Uh, I think you get a better stamp that way. So I said I wanted to stamp on both of these. Um, I picked this one because the pattern is so small it's not interfering with the typewriter, all right? And I think what we're going to see on this one is this is why I'd probably stay away from a piece of paper like this. I think that there's so much going on. I mean, you can still see it's a typewriter, but there's just a lot going on there that makes it a little bit easier, I mean, a little bit more difficult to see. See the difference? So that's why I went with this. Um, what I would not use would be something like, um, and this is me, doesn't matter if you wanna do it, but um, I probably would use something like that to stamp my typewriter because there's just too much going on, right? There's too much going on and those numbers are gonna be fighting with the typewriter keys. Definitely not something like that, right? Besides the fact that it's a black background, even if it had a white background, it'd be too hard to see. Those paintbrushes are fighting with the typewriter. So, um, but other than that, I mean, you totally stamp on pattern paper. Let me just clean this off very quickly. Whoopsie, let me clean this off very quickly. And then we will die cut it. Um, this was prob, well, I don't know. It's probably a toss up between um, the requests for this type, a metal die to cut out the typewriter and a metal die to cut out the clips. So they're both. Um, okay, let me just get this put away. And I think we'll still use this one for some things, but let's get this put away, this put away. And I'm going to bring in my little die cut machine. Um, and Marilee said, I'll go back in later and reminisce. All right, so I have three die cut machines. Well, actually four. Um, I have two of the same one and the two that I have, the Sizzix um, switch. It is uh, probably this wide and it is electronic. Um, I have two because um, now that I have dies, um, I've used dies in a make and take like large quantities where um, Lily and Denise are pre-stamping and then using the die cut machine, learned very quickly that one die cut machine, that was the bottleneck. So now there's two of those. Um, this one, my friend Amy said, oh my God, I said, I need something a little small that I can just pull in and out of camera on our Saturdays when we're listing. And she said, the Anna Griffin Empress Mini. That's what this one is. And it is also electronic. That I have a very old, 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 I think it's a cuddle bug or something. One of the manual machines where you crank it through. So, um, someone asked last week, because last week I used um, this die cut machine to do this little clip. Someone asked last week, what is the difference between a, an electronic machine and the manual where you have to crank um, the little kind of plates through? And really no difference in the outcome. It's just being able to press a button and it goes through versus hand cranking it. So no right or wrong, that's the only difference. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, someone else asked also last week, um, do you prefer to stamp first and then die or die first and then stamp? And I said, I, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. I don't, there's not a right or wrong. It's really more personal preference. So you can do either way. So I just cut that out. And now I'm going to grab the plates. So the way that a die cut machine works, um, you are sandwiching the die in between plates. And as it runs through the machine, the pressure is taking um, that die and it is basically cutting out the paper because of the pressure. So that's what we're doing. We're taking our little um, typewriter die here. And I also use the storage pouches um, to store the dies, my dies. Uh, I mean, 
Um, I use, for my personal storage, I use the storage pouches for the dies as well as the stamps. So that's the die. It's a metal die um, and it is raised right there. So when we put that over our stamped image and then make a sandwich with the plates and push it through, pressure presses that raised part down and it cuts out the paper, cuts out my little image, all right? So uh, if you think of your plates as like you're making a sandwich, okay? So with this particular machine, this plate would go on the bottom. That would be like um, the bread, the bottom piece of bread on your sandwich. The top plate would be the top piece of bread on your sandwich. Um, this particular machine comes with a metal mat, excuse me, metal, magnetic mat. So the die can stick to the magnetic mat. And then, so this would kind of be like your, maybe if you're making a bologna sandwich, this would be the bologna and that would be the cheese and that would be the lettuce, right? We're just making a sandwich, we're stacking. So I take my bottom plate, which is my bread. Uh, here's my bologna. Um, I can, there's different ways that you can stack. I could stack with the magnet down or up. Um, I'm going to stack with the magnet up and all I'm doing, I am just taking, I could use the repositionable tape I used earlier, uh, but I just grabbed this tape, which is a little bit wider and I am lining that up and I just want to put that on there so it stays in place. That's uh, magnetic. So when I put that there, it is now adhered. It's not, not adhered. It's not moving because it's magnetic. Um, bread, bologna, uh, let's say the die is the cheese and the stamped image is the lettuce and there's my other piece of bread. I'm just making a sandwich, right? There's my sandwich. And now turn that on and I take those plates and I press run. Whoopsie, okay. Oops, not run, power. Oh, I'm losing everything, everything's falling over. All right, so now I can pull that, oh, whoopsie, pulled that up a little quickly. I didn't, I don't know what I did there. This little guy didn't quite cut through. All right, so there we go, there is my typewriter. And I didn't have to do my fussy cutting um, to cut that out. No, you can, right? You don't have to have a die. It just can make life a little bit easier. So there we go. Now I'll just put these little things away like that. Oops, forgot the piece of bread. I forgot the white Wonder Bread with my bologna sandwich and my Kraft Singles. All right, there, put that away, and then we'll be ready to play with that. And now I have my cute little pattern typewriter. I'm gonna show you something super cute. Um, this is a card that Diane, 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 Diane Jenkins made for me and sent to me, I don't think it's dated, um, a couple, oh, I love this. Happy 29th birthday from your 110 pound friend, <laughs> right? Um, anyhow, she sent me that birthday card. Isn't that cute? This was long before the die existed. She just stamped it and then fussy cut it, added a little foam tape behind it. So it makes it look like she actually was typing happy birthday, happy, happy birthday from the typewriter. Super cute idea, I thought. Super cute. All right. So now we're going to bring our list back in. Okay, so that's my base. And this will be my little guy right there. But now I need a uh, pen and paper, excuse me, not pen and paper. I need some white card stuff again. Uh, I think I need a new piece. White card stuff. And this will be my list. So it's like it's coming out of the typewriter. Now what I can do, um, if I wanted to be able to pull this in and out, I would make a pocket, right? I'd make a pocket by turning this over, applying adhesive there, there, and there with this part open. And then I could tuck the list, it could come in and out. 
Um, but I think this case, especially maybe if I wanted to do a two page maybe, or I had more than I wanted to put in the pocket, um, which in this case I won't, I'm just going to adhere it. So we can probably go about that wide and still be okay, right? That looks good. Let's cut that. All right, so where am I? There we go, I put that in an odd place. Actually, not really, it was just happened to be where it ended. On the die, on the typewriter. Oh, that wasn't very smart, Will. Not very smart. So now I need to figure out, hmm, you know what? I mean, that's pretty narrow, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, that's gonna bother me. It's, that's too narrow. So that was mm, about three and a quarter. I'd like to make it wider. What if we go like three and three quarters? I think that's gonna be a little bit better. And it still fits within my typewriter, edge to edge. So yeah, much better. All right, now it's also too long. We know it's too long. So let's change it to, change it, let's change it. How about if we trim it to there? So this little piece with that ends up being three and three quarters wide by about five and three quarters tall. All right, get this one out of the way. Here we go, let's, um, actually we need to figure out where this one goes before we put this one down, right? Okay. I think we're about right there. And that little guy. About right there. Okay. Our corners are rounded and now we will do our little like this. This will go over here. So it definitely goes with her and then all the rest of it's just kind of there, right? It's just kind of there because it doesn't go as well. Okay, mm that other in the new stamp set. Let's see what we want to do here. Because I really kind of need in the new somewhere in there, right? In the news could go here and the news could go up there. Oh, this is what we want to do. Newsworthy, interesting enough to the general public to warrant reporting. So I think this is how we can get some other color down here. If we do, how about we do salvage patina there? How about that? Uh, we need something a little bit longer. So let's use that guy since he's already out. I think I put that away already. All right, um, I'm going to pull out a pencil board. Even though nothing has happened yet underneath this page, I'm going to pull out a pencil board and that's gonna give me a really nice flat surface um, underneath that page to stamp on. Um, usually you see me using that on the opposite page when a lot of stuff has happened um, because you have different layers, right? We have different layers. Uh, from the die cuts and stickers and things, you don't want to you don't want to have those layers kind of getting in the way of your stamping underneath and making it weird. There we go. I think that will be nice. I pressed way too hard, but that's okay. Um, I feel like that's bowing a little bit on there. Um, let me. Where did my where did my tweezers go? Oh, they're there, they just hide. So I feel like it's a little bit, it's bowing just a little bit. It's like it didn't quite get on there flat. Mm, no, it's... Okay, that'll be good. Re-ink, 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 re-ink. And 
Um, I don't need to apply a ton of pressure. It is a very fine, small, well, small, the letters are small, right? Stamp, so I don't need to apply a ton of pressure. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna move this over to the right a little bit. Like that. Mm, it kind of, I rocked it a little bit. So it's a little wonky, but that's okay. That's okay. Not enough to start over. Not enough to be sad. And now I think I would like to put a little icon right there. So in that stamp set, this is in the news too. We have little icons. So, hey, how about if we do, I think we'll do a TV. Let's do that little TV icon. Now, that stamp is much smaller than the one I just used. I don't want to use um, that large stamping block. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. It's basically, if I only have one stamping block, I have to go with the lowest common denominator, which means I have to go with a large stamping block because it's got to fit all of my different size stamps. But if I can um, get, if I can buy and have in my stash various size of stamping blocks that are sized for the type of stamp I want to work with, it just makes life a bunch easier. You just have a lot more control that way, right? It's more control. Look at that cute TV. Cute, cute. All right, that little TV is going to go right here. There we go. Now in this case, I could have used um, probably a green, although the green wouldn't really have worked with that. All right, uh, we need a little title over here to say in the news. And uh, what did I just, oh, here it is. Here it is, here it is. So if you want to see some different ways that I have used, um, really both of these stamp sets, the In the News and In the News 2, um, on the website you will see examples of both. Um, in the News, I kind of, let's see, I kind of like this one where it says In the and News. So that's the one we're going to go with. Oh, I will tell you, we are wrapping up um, the designs for the May stamp release. Oh, some fun things. Some fun things. There is one stamp set that I'm going a little bit out on a limb. A little bit out on a limb. Some people will love it and some people will be like, oh, okay. And then they might not love it. I'm going a little bit out on a limb. So we'll see. You can stay tuned for that one. I think I would like to do, do I wanna do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that in black. Any guesses when I say I'm going a little bit out on a limb and some people might be like, yes, I love that you did that. And some people will be like, ooh, yeah, I don't know. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna buy that one. Intriguing, Ms. L says. Intriguing. All right, there we go. Oh, I love that. Look how nice and crisp that is. Doesn't that look nice? Nice and crisp. Um, photopolymer stamps made in the US. Uh, that's probably the biggest difference between a photopolymer stamp and an acrylic stamp. Uh, you can, with photopolymer, get much, much, much more detail. Like look at how like fine and crisp that little in that is. Um, that's a lot harder to do with a, um, it is much harder to do with a acrylic stamp to get that kind of quality out of an acrylic stamp. Um, on a limb, arm, branch, out on a limb. Okay, um, I'm not being Taylor Swift where I'm like, peace out, and she really meant she was doing two albums. Uh, out on a limb, no, no, a limb has nothing to do. Limb has nothing to do with that, that's funny. Uh, all right, I'm gonna grab one more stamp set here, and it is going to be uh, 2022 about last month because this is for the month of March, in the news March. I'm going with 2022 about last month because I want that March. Uh, and I will just put March below it. Oh, 
same thing. Grab my paper from behind, put it in front, and that just makes it so much easier because then that just releases right out. Alrighty, March, in the news March. Lots of things, right? Lots of things happen all the time. Lots of, always lots of things for in the news. Um, that was prolific. Lots of things happen all the time. You're like, wow, I did not know that, Lil. Um, there's always a ton of things on my list for in the news. And, you know, there may be things on my list that didn't even hit your radar. And there may be things on your list that didn't hit my radar. Um, they, there's always something political. That's just, there always just is. Um, because having to do with politics, I should say, not pol well, political politics, but um, just because that's a big part of, I don't know, that's a big part of our lives, my life, not my life, but kind of the world these, these days, it seems, right? So, all right, March. And what's going to be interesting, I think March is going to fit, like, seriously, like right below there. Like, it is the perfect width. And the news mark. So I just kind of made a nice little like square, right? That worked out well. Not crafty stamps. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'll remind you when they come out, I'll be like, okay, remember that one day when I said, hey, um, some people are going to be like, yes, I love it. And some people are like, like I said, mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Or I might use, um, all of the stamps on that stamp set except for two. There may be two that some people are like, oh yeah, no, I'm not using that. So we'll see. Actually, I think three. I think there's three. I think there's three, but I gotta be cryptic. I gotta be cryptic on this one. You'll see. You'll see. May. May, may, may. May, may, may. Yeah. Like two weeks. Two weeks. Um, two weeks. Hopefully I can show you them in two weeks. Um, all right, so let's just do a little ruler here. I won't make a box around it. Oh yeah, look at, not quite straight there, am I? So, hmm, I probably, I do, I, I wanna do a line though. Okay, pencil, let's just see. Um, so this, my march there, if you see, it's a little bit crooked. See how it's a little bit crooked and I'm worried that if I make my line, it might look that it's really gonna show that it's crooked maybe. Oh no, that actually fixed it. That actually fixed it a lot. All right, there we go, in the news march. So draw a little outline around this, all the outlining, outline on the list, outline on the, um, outline on the, hmm, look at, what did Marilee say? Not crap, not cryptic, crypty, I love it, Nancy. Cryptic crafty items coming soon, right? There we go. Uh, Mary Lee said something snarky. Uh, she actually did not. She typed in something snarky, exclamation point. Uh, yeah, it's a little snarky. It's snarky, yep, yeah, a little snarky. Parts of it are a little snarky. All right, so uh, this now, I love that color, that this I do not like at all, but guess what? It is what it is. I'm not changing it. It's going to stay there. Life's too short. Life's too short to redo, right? It's too short to redo. So it is just going to stay like that. Ah, yeah. Um, 111, yeah, look it, you guys are on, you're on to something, you are on to something. Okay, in the news march, um, the things that are on my list for March. Uh, I'm gonna grab one more bullet stamp. Um, I need a little, I need a little, how about, how about this one? I think this is from this. I mean, I think this is, this will be fun. It's from Bullets and More 3. So there are three Bullets stamp sets, Bullets and More, Bullets and More 2, Bullets and More 3. They all have different bullets. Um, I'm going to use this little guy in the corner, this little um, star, whoopsie, star with a little circle around it. So I think then I could use maybe black. I don't really want to bring more color in. This, uh, you know what, I guarantee you I'm going to end up changing that. That's going to drive me crazy. Although it'll have to be a couple of weeks and then I'll forget about it and I'll be like, oh, I don't have time to deal with that. So it'll probably stay. All righty. So let's see here. Here is my stamp.
No, that's kind of fun, isn't it? The little uh, star. Well, it's a circle with the star inside of it. So, on my list of things for the month of March, we have um, wildfires in Texas burned 1 million acres. All right, next item on my list. Oops, uh, I didn't do well on that one. I will probably now just make them all go different, different, different directions. Um, LeBron James, the first player to score 40,000 points. Uh, probably not only the first basketball player, probably the first player in anything, except for maybe bowling. First base basketball player to score 40K points. So obviously Le LeBron James is not on my list, but that's okay because I only did four photos. So not every, I don't have to have a photo for everything on my list, right? Um, but I better start to get some of those. Um, Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark, uh, C A I. Oops, Caitlin Clark was the first. No, Caitlin Clark beats the record um, for top scoring NCAA basketball player of all, all time. That's a mouthful. Top scoring uh, NCAA. I'll say b-ball, although that could be about ba baseball. Base, NCB, player of all time. Um, male and female, all, oh golly. My brain is not functioning now. I just about wrote all team. All right, um, which was quite the, I, I said I wouldn't say anything. I was gonna say that was quite the big deal, but I'm not going to say anything. Uh, fashion icon, Iris. That fell uh, died. That is her, and that's Caitlin Clark. Um, let's see what else we have on my list. Um, Trump and Biden clinch the 2024 Presidential nominations. Wow, we've got only, I mean, what is it? April? April, May, April, May, May, June, July, July, August, September, September. Six months. Six months before the election. Wow, that's crazy. Um, I can say that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, Putin was elected. Uh, for another term, six more years, uh, president of Russia. I don't know. He's on like his fifth term or something, I think. Oh, hi, honey. Yeah, our last list, we're let them up. Whatever, dork. You're a dork. Um, okay. Oh, this is kind of an, never mind. Joanne filed chapter 11. Joanne, the craft store. Um, ba -ba -da -da. Boy, I am, um, I am, I don't have a lot of room left, do I? Uh, so there's a lot of things that were on my list over here that will not be on my list. Um, oh, my legs are hurting, hurting, hurting. Princess Catherine reveals she has cancer. Princess Kate. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to abbreviate. Princess Kate reveals cancer, and um, the last one on my list will be this one, um, where a um, um, container ship collapses 
a bridge in Baltimore. All right, so those were some of the things that happened in the news in the month of, in the month of, yeah, this is gonna have to, that's all gonna have to go away. Um, in Not today, but in the month of March. News related items in the month of March. So I am going to, where is, oh, here we go. I'm going to use my double-sided tape because this is what I was mentioning earlier. As I'm starting, this will um, have a hard time kind of really kind of rounding that corner because now I have so much going on in here. So I want something that's really sticky. And if I use my double-sided score tape along that edge, then it will um, really stick. And I'll just do it along here too. And I'll do it in the center. Really, I only need to do it there. I could put regular adhesive in everywhere else, but that's all right. Nick, you need to hush them up, right? Hush up. Hush up. Um, thank you for the reminder, Colleen. Colleen said, PSA, public service announcement, to give the video a thumbs up. Please, 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 please. Um, let's see. Colleen said, oh, no, one less craft store for me to visit when I get across the border. So not necessarily. Um, I think they are doing like a restructure uh, and um, filing for chapter 11 gives you um, certain I, leniencies, I guess, that as you're trying to restructure and figure things out. And so I don't think they're going out of business. I think they filed chapter 11 to restructure. Um, if anyone knows for sure, feel free to correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it is. Um, at least with Joanne, I think that is what they've done. Um, all right, friends, so there we go. Like I said, this needs help, uh, but that's okay. It'll, 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 it'll be there. It'll, it'll be there another day. It'll live another day. Um, all right, so those were our three lists for today. In the news for March, um, things I'm going to do for someone else next week. If you missed that when we started, things I'm going to do for someone else this ne next week, and that was using the um, Simple Vintage uh, Color Palette, Simple Vintage Essentials Color Palette, and Growing Up Gen X, or fill in the blank, whatever generation you are, Growing Up Gen X or Z or whatever, and then In the News March. All right, my friends, uh, let, me, uh, let me turn the lights on, turn them off, and we'll say our goodbyes. Um, who is hungry? I am hungry. It is lunchtime. Oh, I was going to do my best that we'd be done by one o'clock today. Uh, I'm mountain time, so it's 1.42, so not too bad. Not too bad. All right, I am going to uh, rotate the camera, so bear with me while that happens. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah said, my friend works for Joanne. They said they have no plans to close stores or let people go. Hopefully the restructure will enable that. Thank you for clarifying that or affirming that. Um, all right. Just looking, looking, looking. Okay, I think we're good, friends. Um, uh, did we talk about prizes today? We did not. Let's talk about prizes for today because they're, well, they're always good ones, I think. But um, the way you participate in prizes, uh, the giveaways, is to leave a comment on the video when it's over. So not in the chat. Uh, leave a comment on the video when it's over. Um, next week, next Saturday morning, before we're together again, I will draw two random lucky winners. One random lucky winner will win that typewriter die. I mean, not the one that we used. You will win a brand new one, but the typewriter die. Uh, the other random lucky winner will win a $25 gift certificate, gift card, whatever. I'll send you a coupon code to use to shop with whatever your little heart desires on the website, okay? Uh, so leave a comment on the video. When it's over, you have between as soon as the video ends and next uh, Saturday morning, which would be the 20th. I tell you, no, the 27th, sorry, I'm gonna be coming in hot. Uh, we land Friday night late, which means uh, this week, not only did I have to prepare for this one that we just did, also have already prepared for next week's too, because it'll be, uh, yeah, anyhow. So, um, yeah, thank you friends. I, always, 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 I have such a good time. I have such a good time when we're together listening and laughing and today was a prime example of that with the, um, the Gen X list or whatever Gen you are, but we had a lot of fun in the chat, chatting about the different things that remind us of, you know, growing up in our generation. So 
that was fun. Thank you for joining me today. Um, what's for lunch, Mary? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. I gotta go see. Um, Karen has to go scrape the snow off of her car. That's crazy, 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 crazy. Um, all right, guys, I think we're good. Yes, thank you. Um, I'll be out of town this week, but you'll still see emails, you know, and don't be worried about your orders because Lily and Denise, that's what they do. So if you place an order and don't have it yet, uh, coming out this week. So um, especially if you have ordered the uh, Let's Get Away mini book project kit, those start shipping Monday. They're all done. Start shipping Monday. All right, friends, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I hope to see you here next Saturday listing. And if I don't see you here, then I hope to see you um, around the interwebs uh, sometime in the future. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.